Hey. 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 Hey, everybody. Who all's in here? You now, Pop says, James says, um, James is in here? Oh, hey, James. Yeah. And that's it right, right now. Well, here. Good start this holiday weekend as of early today. 35 hit with Pew Pews and 5 DOA. No, nothing new. Hey, Anthony, I think we uh, should start new. the live stream off with a vote whether you should put a hat on or not. All right. We're going to vote. Should I, do I need a hat or no? <laughs> yeah, about, it, I like the troll walk. You like the what? The troll doll walk. On top of my head? <laughs> Where you said I look like a Teletubby? <laughs> yeah, you were trying to put it in the bun, Morgan. It's actually like... Uh, backwards. It's it's pretty... Uh, got some tangles in there. I should I should put dreads. Some At least pray for James. Are you in Chicago too? Is James in Chicago? Robbie's munching them Reese's, man. Oh, you're in Jersey. Okay, that's right. All right, Robbie, you can share your screen, right? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if you wanted to show them the. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, the website is live now. Mm -hmm. What else was it? Oh, nice. Facebook page. Started the YouTube channel. Whereas we see Joyzy. Oh, Joyzy. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. Old Scott Clark. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, what was I going to do? I was going to do a banner. Mm. There it goes. Right. So we're going to be taking questions from people. And if we get some lucky people going on in here, we'll bring them in the stream too. Yeah, Puffs should hop on, too. Puffs? Yeah. Hey, Leaser's in here. Hey, Thank Lisa. you for the review on Google, Leaser. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been meaning to do that to you guys. I've been forgetting to write your review. A couple of other people have done it, too, but it's not showing up for some reason. I think, it's of that, I think it's because of that whole deal, you know, until I get that card. Um the pin code from Google. Yeah, that pin code. We'll see. You happy Fourth to you too, Lisa. Yeah, Happy Fourth of July, right? So, all right, we're gonna be taking questions where we're at so far with the business. We actually did have a job last week, and the lady gave us like an eighty dollar tip. Oh, yeah. nice. Sure did. So that was pretty cool. We were, we were sitting there counting the money. We're like, wait a minute, this is too much money. So we walked back up to her door. We're like, you gave us too much money. Did you mean to do that? She was like, yeah, that's a tip for you guys. We were like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Nothing, Nothing wrong with a little extra cash in pocket. So, yeah. Yeah, but we wanted to be honest. It's, you know, honesty yeah. goes a long way with people. So. Yeah, but I'm just saying with that tip, nothing wrong with getting a lot of oh, no. cash in your pocket. Nice. Yeah, that was a good start. That was a good start. James yeah. said that's a cool good start. Uh, what else? Oh, Robbie. Huh? I'll be right back. Give me one second. All right. Robbie sent me a text message. I think it was Friday. Either Thursday or Friday when I was at work. Yeah, $80 tip is awesome in these times. He texted me. He was like, hey, man, this is the voicemail that I just got left because he couldn't answer his phone because he was at work. And it was a guy that needs brakes put on his um, 
Chevy or GMC Denali. Was it a GMC Denali that that guy called you about, or just a GMC fifteen hundred? No, it was, was a Denali. No, nah, it was just a uh, fifteen hundred truck. Yeah, where he said he doesn't. He wants. He wants a price of brakes put on it. He already has the brakes, no rotors or anything, just wants the brakes put on. He said the dealership costs an arm and a leg. That was a voicemail that he left on Robbie, and Robbie copied it and sent it to my phone. And I was like, what? And Robbie called him back and asked how he heard about us. He found us on Google. Uh -huh. Nice. I guess he just Google searched mobile mechanic. I, think I wish I was closer. I would have, would have you guys change all the fluids. We'd do it. Same here. I wish I was closer too. I know Rich is a busy guy too. Oh, he's extremely busy. He, trying to get an oil change from Rich. He's like, hey, just wait. Hold on. Could you wait a couple weeks? Yeah. Well, that's how it is where I'm at too. Um, there's a lot of recalls going on that they're they got parts in for. Uh the steer or not steering, but the shifter cable bushing, the the twenty two was it 22 S27 or whatever it was, the one I did the video on for the park brake recall? It's actually the bolts for the parking brake. Where they're, they're, Lisa actually had a good question. He was like, how does programming the PCM have anything to do with a, with a bolt? Because it's the bolt that holds in the parking brake. When the parking brake electronically is applied, it puts so much torque on it, they can fracture the bolt. Mm -hmm. So you reprogram the PCM so it doesn't put so much torque on it. And that recall takes like 10, 15 minutes to do. But there's so many of them. I, I got that one to do. Well, I already did it. Um, I did the cat. I did. I'm doing that ABS pump now. It's great. I got to do that timing cover on that Ranger. That also that lady that gave you the eighty dollar tip. Yeah. She saved money compared to going to your old shop. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Yep. Matter of fact, you know what? I think Tuesday I'm gonna quote that job from there. And just see exactly yeah. what it would have cost her. I could actually give you kind of a hint. What's her labor rate? One hundred nine ninety seven. One hundred nine ninety seven. Mm -hmm. So that's she would have had an hour diag on it, and then um, how much is the diag? The one hundred nine ninety seven. So basically times that by four. That's four hundred thirty nine dollars and eighty eight cents just for diag and labor. Mm -hmm. And we only we only charged her three forty. Yeah. And then the parts, so you know, she would have paid uh, about one hundred fifty gross on the on the parts. And that part was already two hundred and thirty nine dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's about four hundred for the part. So one oh nine. Oops. That's true too, James. Four thirty nine eighty eight. Whoa. She would have paid how much? Uh, for the part, Robbie, how much percentage? <coughs> about about one hundred ten. One hundred ten added onto it. One hundred ten uh, markup. One hundred ten percent. Yeah, so, so it'll be about four fifty. Yeah. So like yeah, four fifty. Two hundred. She would pay four hundred. Uh, about two. About four ten, four twenty. Yeah, she would have been a whole about nine hundred at, at your shop. Eight eighty nine. She would have been just under a grand yeah. plus taxes and all that stuff. She would yeah, have been I right did off the, I did off the top of my head that math. I was like a little over nine hundred plus tax. Yes, one hundred ten percent leaser. That's what she charges. We yeah. literally watched the transmission. What was it? The transmission job. It went from like for that for that Korean guy, it was like twenty three hundred bucks, and all of a sudden it jumped up to ten grand. Yeah.
the look on his face was priceless to me. I wish I could have been in there. And I was just, I was going, I know, man, I know. <laughs> the used 5.4 was scored worse than the original engine. Oh, yeah, on Rich's. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Ford boss me had a 5.4 engine swap on an 08. They sent him an engine out of an 07, and he noticed it because the spark plug boots are different. And then that thing was scored up. The the camshafts were scored up worse than the ones that he took out. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but she does wear open coats. Oh, God. Mm. Might as well. Might uh, as well. <laughs> Lisa, you need to get on here, man. I hope Lisa fixes Impala. That was part of his review that he left. It's hard to keep up with these comments. Current bushings look like they're made of uh, Delrin. Yeah, the the ones that come out, they're like an orange color. The one I did the other day, it was orange. The new one was white, and then it came with a clip that locks on top of it. Her second car is a broom. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribers are savage, man. <sighs> man, the phone is charged up. You want me to send you a link? You can hop in here. I'll email you a link. All you got to do is click on it. And then you'll pop up on my screen and I can add you in, okay? That's cool that uh my my subscribers interact with me this way. Yeah. Yes. And it's greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, most YouTubers don't interact with their fans. They just make videos and make money off of it. Yeah. I um and ask for I, money. I normally go on a lot of text streams, things like that, about wireless and communications. Oh, we are going to get a business business phone plan. And we're we're probably going to go with T-Mobile. Yeah, yeah. There, T-Mobile will be your cheapest. And I looked up your coverage. I sent it, Lisa. I, I looked up your coverage in your area. T-Mobile's really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went from on my personal. I went from. God, we had Verizon for years. We just we switched to T-Mobile about a year ago. So at least I had be popping up here. I had um Verizon as a second line. The second they deployed C band, that's um the three three to four gigahertz frequency. They just tanked and trashed. Hmm. Like Man, no, I was I'm done. I was with Verizon when I was with working with Ford with you, Robbie, because we got a discount on it. Yeah. Did that. I think that. Then I, I moved. Went, I did that, too. And mm. then I moved. So I was getting charged tax for North Carolina and Texas, but I was still keeping my phone number. And then I went from there to another state, and I was getting charged taxes for three different states. Yeah, that's Verizon for you. And they were like, well, we can't figure it out. I'm like, well, yeah, just take the taxes off. Right. Like my phone only my phone would have like the signal would have a one X and no bars. And they were like, my phone's working fine. I was literally having to talk to tech support through Twitter. Oh, wow. Uh, I think the only problem, I don't think the problems I'm having is through uh, T-Mobile. I think it's my phone. Um, I've had this one since 2018. It's an eight plus. And I think it's uh I think it's just it's like, your, your SIM card probably went corrupt on your yeah it and like here lately on my phone no Rob's mine oh I think and here lately like me and Anthony with this business stuff we'll get on the phone and God knows sometimes we'll be on there while about four hours in yeah we have in and like I can get on like a long conversation or something and I'll tell him I'll say hey man you know if uh if I just Quit talking to you. It's not being rude. And my phone cut off. <laughs> no, it's because you hit me with your chin. Now. It's because you, you know? hit me with your chin and put me on mute. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys get it, get the Max plan from T-Mobile. 
Yes. It's, like the one we're on now is the uh, military. Uh, yeah. But get the military money. max because you get truly unlimited data. I burn through three, four hundred gigs of data a month mm. on T Mobile and I don't get throttled. Yeah. We're actually getting ready to. Uh, I looked at it last night. We're actually getting ready to go to like the Metro, Metro Net for the house. Hey, hey. hey. How's it going? What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, not too much. Hey, Robbie, it's Lisa and uh -huh. Thomas hey, hey. and Bob. How's it going, guys? Yeah, pretty good. How are you? Doing good. Hey, what hear my it? neighborhood popping off? Is that your neighborhood? I was like, what is that yeah. noise? <laughs> it's my hood popping off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my neighborhood sounds like a war zone. No, mine is a war zone. I constantly get shot at and shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing going on over here right now. Well, we just I, had a storm roll through. All of ours was wow. last night. Yeah, we did ours last night. Yeah. And Hope Mills did how's that, their How's that Impala running, man? It's still running. So it was the crank sensor, wasn't it? Yep, definitely. Thank you very, very much. You're very welcome. Lisa has Ken from where I was born. Trouble said you got Ken from where he was born. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my uh, relatives settled in Buffalo and then moved down to Springville, and that's where they're buried. Oh, wow. You said you come down to North Carolina, right? To the track? No, I've never been down to uh, down to any of the tracks down there. Oh, I know you were asking me about them. They're uh, one of them's about an hour and forty five minutes away west, and the other one's about an hour and forty five minutes north. So it's a pretty big state. Yeah. What are you talking about? Speedway. Motor Speedway? No, it's a. Uh, uh, some of the dirt tracks. Oh, the dirt um, tracks. Yeah. yeah, some of them. I forgot the name of them. I'll send you a link to them, though. Man. Trouble's a moderator in here. He's like the only moderator in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got well, your stream up on my tablet. Oh, I got it going over here, too. How's the weather, Lisa? Uh, it's 70 degrees and clear right now. It, right now it's 77 and cloudy here. It was like 100 earlier. It's yeah, 70 screamed, by me. I'm clear. I screamed like a little girl a while ago when I was on the phone with Anthony. I was sitting out on the front porch and like that. <laughs> that lightning was like, <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh, then the thunder. I heard the thunder on your phone and then it came over to my end. Like the end of the storm that you were having was like right in my backyard. Yeah. It was crazy. Man, I am supposed to go to Oak Island the end of the month. Oak Island is nice. I've played a mini round of golf over there. I've never been there. Mini. All right, who's was that Chicago or was that New England? <laughs> I'm hearing popping off. It's me. Okay, are those fireworks or something else? Mix. Okay. <laughs> That's bad, man. <laughs> Anthony is here. Where did Jesus? Oh, I'm right here. I'm right here. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Look. Charles Manson. I should step Lord outside them. for a few minutes for you guys. <laughs> yeah, show me outside. I want to see outside. Yeah, hold on. That's crazy. <laughs> so is that your Impala, Lisa, or is that your, your land, yeah, landlord's? It's, it's my landlady's son's car. Okay. That was crazy. Robbie, he he called me one day, and I pulled up all data, and I was looking at the wiring schematic uh -huh. because he was telling me he was turning the key over, and he wasn't getting any RPMs, but he was getting fuel. So I went through the wiring schematic in the pinpoint test and narrowed it down to the crank sensor. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm outside now. You guys probably hear it better. Yeah. 
<laughs> but that's not fireworks, is it? It's a mix. <laughs> <laughs> Mix of fireworks and small arms uh, fire. <laughs> sometimes rifle, sometimes shotgun. Nick wants to see me as a baby face. Well, I'm not shaving my beard. My wife will kill me. Um, <laughs> if you want to see my baby face, you're going to have to look at my old videos or look at some oh, old yeah. pictures on my Facebook. Yeah, I had to show my wife an old video so she could remember who Anthony was. <laughs> but she didn't remember that was crazy. Dion, Chicago is very violent, dude. James, a mix of pew pew and boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> freedom seeds. Only in Chicago, I don't think they're freedom seeds. They're self defense seeds, aren't they? A uh, mix of self defense and crime. Okay. <laughs> wow. Man. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, yes, man. If you met this lady in person that he works for that i work for you i would just love to see your facial expressions talking to her <laughs> for one yeah, she sounds like a real piece of work she's hang on Let's see if i find a picture of her i'm about to blast it hang on <laughs> i was just sitting there thinking about the same thing <laughs> See if I can find her. Hang on. Uh, oh, she's got it is. There it is. Let's just find a picture of her because I don't want to show her. <laughs> Let's see if we can see any see anybody running and popping off. <laughs> if you see anybody running, like film them right quick. Turn your tablet around. Yeah. No, I'm on my phone right now. Well, turn your turn your camera around because I want to see it. Yeah, that, that's what I have right now. Oh. All right. Dude, she's got so many pictures with her and her. Did you hear a rapid gunfire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a mix I'm hearing. That's crazy. All right. Hang on a second, guys. Uh... All right, good. I'm still here. I'm just trying to bring this up right quick. All right, let me let me. Uh, you guys are gonna love this. <clears throat> so I'm just getting back into the house and stuff. Y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! That's her right there. <laughs> Where's her witch hat broom? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't want to show that picture because it has her grandbaby in there, but that's the only picture she's got. So you got to grow a beard again, Bob. If you all moved here, Maggie and Jerry could play much safer. Yes. Oh man, Nick's looking at my trying to find me as a baby face. <laughs> I think I can find that too. Hang on a second, guys. You're good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Huh? <laughs> um okay. I'm blocking away. I can't see. Man, who? Oh, I got to grow. Oh, who? Who? What? Who? Nick is looking at pictures of me with no beard. Here, hang on. I'll find one for you. Hang on a second. 
don't know exactly which one. Oh, let's see here. Oh, there's one. This is uh, this is me and Waylon Revis. He was the lead singer for Mushroom Heads. Hey, look at me right there. Man, nah, look at that pretty baby. Only thing missing is probably your bottle and or pacifier. Oh, there's me right there. That's old. <laughs> Let's see. Old school. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, yeah, there's a, that's an old one right there. Look, no beard. <laughs> if I try to grow a beard, it looks like a damn raccoon attacked my face. Cause I'm real patchy and stuff. Joe Dirt. <laughs> Joe Dirt. <laughs> Joe Probably. Dirt. <laughs> like my beard is like it's actually pretty long. <laughs> he's he said holy young lady. Uh, what lady? No, I didn't put all my eggs in one basket. That was Easter from like, um, let's see, my oldest son was probably a year old, so probably 2012-ish, give or take. Oh, man. Remind me of Way Jennings. Oh, hey, Chris. Chris is here. Hi, Chris. All right, what kind of questions y'all have? I know y'all got questions. <clears throat> Robbie and I have been working hard. Yeah, we have. Last week was just, man, we, we had that job to do, plus working full-time jobs. I was sitting here on the computer till like 12 o'clock every night doing stuff, on this business stuff. And oh, I had to go fix a customer's car right down the road from work in the yeah. parking lot at Lowe's. He's a really good friend of mine. I've known him for a long time. He works like two miles from me. His heater hose busted the lower hose off the heater hose, off the heater core. And he's got a, a Ford Flex. So I ended up getting him a part through my parts department at my cost. The price nice. like through the parts house and everything was like $102. My cost was $54 with tax. So, That's how, how it is for me with Napa because my youngest brother is a manager at a corporate yeah. Napa. I get everything for the cost, but Napa pays. Yeah, I only pay like I think ten percent over or six. Yeah, Napa is like five percent or ten, something like that. It's something like that. And then I had a, yeah, and then I had a bunch of antifreeze sitting there, so because I did a bunch of warranty work, and obviously you don't use twelve million gallons of antifreeze, and I got tired of tripping over it, so I just took a couple bottles out there to him, got him up and rolling. So that's uh. I need to get him on here one day. His name's Lorenzo. I've known him since I was like 15 or 16 years old. And he's he's in his late 40s now. But Robbie met him. He's, he's a cool dude. He's a big guy, too. Yeah. Nice guy, though. He bought Robbie's food that night. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm putting my hat back on. Jesus is out uh, leaving the chat. Huh? <laughs> That's all over the place. Yeah. Are bottle rockets allowed in North Carolina? No, they're not. Anything that goes in the air or anything that explodes is technically not legal in North Carolina. But where do we go to get them, Robbie? Uh, 
We've always south got them from uh, south of the border. South in years, but we always went to South Carolina. Yep, right at the state lines, south, south of the border. Yep. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yep. That's what we do here in Illinois. We just hop into Indiana or Wisconsin. Yep. Yeah, that's south of the border, man, which is just right down the road from here. I mean, what, maybe uh, 25 minutes? Yeah, it's like, uh, let's see, Lumberton. Lumberton's and, uh, 35 miles. I think south of the border is like 40 miles. Not yeah, even that. At the most. I got a question. And, uh, they have uh, they have billboards for that thing starting all the way up in New York, all the way down 95. It's crazy. And then oh, you wow. get there and it's just... It's a pending code DM. P0720 and a 2106. I think there's a TSB for the 2106. 720, is that a slippage code? I think so. Is that four wheel drive? Yeah, I got my. Yeah, hit the wrong button. Is it four wheel drive? Oh, five. I'll show you guys how I do this stuff, how to look for TSBs and stuff. He says it is four wheel drive. It is four wheel? Yeah. All right. I'll show you my screen here in a second. Lisa, I'll show you how I did this too. It is four wheel. Yeah, that's cool. It is four wheel. Okay, four wheel drive. All right. I'm going to show my screen so you guys can see how I do this. Whenever you guys ask me questions and stuff, on what were the codes? 720, 2106. 2106. All right, so we're going to do some diag. This is pretty cool. We're going to do diag live right there. Mm -hmm. It was a 05, right? See, I can't see my screen right yes, now. Yes, it's a 05 Explorer. Explorer, what size engine? 4.0 or 4.6? Um, I need no engine size. 4.0. 4.0? Yeah. Flex fuel? Doesn't matter. We're going with that. Non-flex fuel, regular gas. It'll be all right. I'm just running the generic code. Output shaft speed sensor circuit. Oh, let's see if there's a TSB. Testing and inspection, community repair. There is no TSB that I see for it. Computers and control systems. All right. The OSS sensor inputs a signal to the powertrain control module based on the speed of the output shaft of the transmission. PCM compares the signal with the signal of the vehicle speed sensor or transfer case speed sensor and determines the correct tire size and axle gear ratio. Your possible causes are the OSS sensor circuit short to ground, short to power, the circuit is open, or the sensor is damaged. And then if I go back, Throttle actuator control system force limited power. There's a TSB for that. O3 to O4 Thunderbird, O4 F150, O4 to O5 Mountaineer. Verify the powertrain control module as the latest calibration level using WDS. So it looks like a PCM update. Yeah. yeah. Going back to the Crown Board days, that I remember those, don't you, Anthony? Oh yeah. We had to do a lot of the PCM updates on that code. Yep. <clears throat> Traction control sometimes, system. Sometimes it's nothing simple as uh, carbon build up on the throttle plate. 
Yeah, it's possible. Key on, engine off, key on, engine running, key on, continuous memory. So it looks like there's a TSB for the 2106, which is the throttle actuator. Um, as far as the other one, it looks like your speed sensor. Pull that speed sensor out. It's probably corroded or kind of ate up. Robbie, did you text me? Uh -huh. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, thumbnail. Yeah. Just what in case she ever comes across it. What thumbnail? For the live right now. Did it come up with that? Yeah, like, hold on just a minute. I'll share my screen real quick just so you'll see. <clears throat> Just in case somebody comes across it, because you know how she is. Uh, yeah, I wonder if I can change it. Can you can you see my screen now? No, not yet. Doesn't show anything on my end. Yeah, it just shows a picture of the Mustang. Really? Huh? Am I, is my screen coming up? No. Oh, wait. Hang on. I got to add it in. Go back to that. Go back to whatever you just did. Can you see it now? Oh, yeah. It's not showing yes. that on Mark. I mean, it <laughs> right at that particular time is what it's showing up as for that live stream. Yeah. It's showing up on my tablet that your wife. Yeah, it's showing something different online. Yeah. It's showing all data. It must do it in seconds or whatever. That's just if you go back and look at it, is it. Yeah, let me uh, let me refresh it. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, that's just your. Screen. That's weird. Let me uh, let me click. That might have been just where I clicked. Let me see if it'll. Uh... Okay, that's just your. Screen. Uh, that might have been just where I clicked. Let me see if it will uh, hmm. still shows that. I don't know. Yeah, mine's just showing uh, live, showing all data. Yeah. Either way, I'll go through and change it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, though? Like if somebody was running across that shit, you know. So it's kind of weird or kind of scary because I had some noise while reversing. Was it only in reverse? What kind of noise was it? Grinding, howling, growling, whine, whining? grinding right after the message came up about power. Uh, you check the fluid level in that and it only did it in reverse. That's awkward. 
I wonder if the band went out for uh, well enough. The band went out, then he wouldn't move. Mm-hmm. Can we a uh, worn out Baron in there? Um, yeah, but if it was a bearing, it would do it in forward and reverse. True. I have plenty of transmissions go out on me before, so. Does it only do it in reverse? Because sometimes, like, when you put a load on it, like, drive, reverse, uh, first or second, and it, it howls a little bit, that's usually a torque converter. And if it does it in park, neutral, all gears, that's usually a pump. Car making noise and puking while driving. Figured it was the catalytic converter. I've never seen a catalytic converter puke. <laughs> I've seen them literally come apart on the inside. I have three. You get logs in the exhaust system. Oh, Lee, sir, that was an ABS pump that you were asking about. You thought it was a power steering pump. Looked like you had the engine out of the car. No, that was just the back side. It was a four cylinder. Back side on the passenger, it sits up on the firewall on the on the fender. It was only in reverse with a little throttle forward was fine. I wonder if that reverse gear's got some got some wear going on. But it could also be because the sensor is bad. doesn't know the correct speed so it kind of grinds when it goes transmission's funny i don't like them i don't know you. that's why i prefer standard over auto yeah well i mean you guys saw that picture of that that 10r80 actually that wasn't a 10r80 that was a uh that was out of an explorer and uh the snap ring broke on the the clutch hub Yeah, that was I think it was the reverse gear clutch up. I don't know. I forgot. Oh, forward gear clutch up. And uh, there's actually a TSB for that. It's this so much fluid pressure going through there. It literally it. They say that sometimes it'll pop off. This one literally just broke. So. Broke up inside, engine would puke while stepping on it, rattled bad. Oh, yeah. Um, Have you changed the fluid in the filter in that thing? Ever at all? The 6R80 transmission, Robbie, for Ford, that was like a beast of a transmission. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Only time I ever had issues with mine is when BG tried to do his fluid flush. <laughs> and he, he blew out my torque converter. We're still getting lights on that Facebook page. Bro. Good. Had it at the dealer a couple of years ago for the trans service. So a couple of years ago, about how many miles? Is there any leaks that you can see? I'm wondering if it's just a speed sensor sending an erratic signal to it so it doesn't know because it has to slow down. The clutch packs has to engage and hold to the transmission housing for reverse gear. Same thing when you're moving forward, certain clutches engage and hold to the transmission housing. Maybe 8K a year. Yeah. I'm wondering, I, I'm leaning more towards the sensors not sending a correct signal. That, that reminds me, I need to get a yes, whole yes. to do a trans service on my Lincoln. <laughs> he said the clutches in my brain slips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old. Man, we're about to have a party up here. Watch this. 
Chris, that's least or Micah's. Um. I like getting down with my soap. Uh, Chris, I'm sending you a link, buddy. Multitasking here. Yeah, I would try that sensor. And because what it sounds like to me is it's sending an erratic signal, which is why the track light came on and everything. And, and then the throttle body has actually got a TSB for a PCM reprogram. That's why you're in limp mode right now. Sensors are crazy. Ask Lisa. He knows all about sensors. Oh, I know about those. <laughs> <laughs> Fix the coolant leak and then the car quits. <laughs> well, I'm glad I was able to help you out with that. It wasn't nothing major. Was it a pain in the butt to put on? No, it wasn't bad. I mean, the, the polar I got worked great. The only trouble is uh, I had no way of locking up the flywheel, yes. so I just bang the uh, crank bolt on with the impact on. Yeah. You didn't have a pry bar to stick up in the flywheel? Trouble is the uh, I can't get the car up in the air enough. Gotcha. I mean, this thing sits really low, and I got little jack stands. Hey, you, you got to do what you got to do. Hey, that's, Chris. Uh, that's what it is, especially oh, with this car. Man, we got everybody up in here. Before, I met, before I met Rick, everything was uh, he'll blow you away with roll of duct tape for me. Really? Yeah. Everything was done with duct tape? Basically, yes. I've, I've seen that before. I had this horrible, horrible Saturn view up what was given to me for free. Exhaust fell off of it completely at the heads. It just fell right off. The um had to hold the transmission, the flywheel up it, in with duct tape. The engine mount was duct taped down. Name Man. it, it was pilot broke. Fire out of three cylinders out of four. Robbie will tell you people come in for an oil change and the car is literally about to fall apart. And like, hey, you need this, this, and this. This car is a safety issue in itself. Just give me my free oil change. If it's free, it's for me. Right. That's where that that's where that phrase came from. If it's free, it's for me. Yep. <laughs> or the ever since you club. Ever since you changed my oil, my taillights don't work. Yeah. Or <laughs> stuff like they that. Give a, they give a whole list of what breaks down after yeah. that. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, it's like, nah, dude. It's like <laughs> Yeah. Ever since you changed my, ever since you changed my tail light bulb, my AC quit working. Yeah. Really? Like I didn't even touch your AC. All my blinker fluid leaked out. <laughs> yeah, my fluid. My sprocket locket's locked up. My yep. muffler bearings are gone. Tires worn my out. Valve exploded. <clears throat> Robbie, you had just left, and Frank was the manager. When that dude, um, they, these guys know about it. I did a video on it where the guy, uh, me and Danny, did an oil change on it. And it was like 15, 20 minutes, something like that. The guy swore up and down. I swapped his engine out on a 3.5 EcoBoost. <laughs> in 20 15 minutes. minutes. 15 minutes. I'm like, what? Like, We're I just good. have one sitting here. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I we had question. an Oldsmobile customer that, that claimed that one time. The guy jumped up and down. No, you put a different engine in it. That, that engine's a different engine. Couldn't convince him. Yeah. I had to pull out the computer with the integrated diagnostic software, which is Ford stuff. The new stuff is FDRS, but I had to go to that. And then I had to go to PTS Oasis to pull up the engine calibration with the VIN number, go to the vehicle with the VIN number that was on the front and the, the engine serial number on the front cover. And then the VIN number on the truck under the windshield and in the door panel. And he's still swerving down that I swapped his engine out. I'm like... <laughs> All right, Chris, you said you had a question? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, what it's I heard that it's bad to change transmission fluid on some cars if the transmission is blu fluid, it's been 
on inside the transmission for too long. Is that a myth or? Is that, um, that is true, actually. Uh, my rule of, you're flushing. Yeah. yeah. There's a difference between draining and filling and flushing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So draining and filling, you're draining the pan, kind of like what you did to your car, and you're changing your filter. Mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're flushing it, you're sending new transmission fluid, and sometimes they have a chemical that you put in there to clean everything out, like an engine flush. Mm -hmm. That's going through there. And then you're draining all that stuff out with a machine most of the time. And then you're putting fresh fluid in. Mm -hmm. The problem with that, my rule of thumb is like 60,000 miles. If it's never been done, I usually won't touch it. Because what will happen is your clutch plates. I wish I had some here to show you. You have a steel plate and then you have a friction plate and mm -hmm. they spin with each other. You know, when your transmission goes into gear, certain clutch plates are going to hold to the transmission housing and allow the sun gear and the planetary to move. It's basically just changing gear ratios is all it's doing. So when you're going from first to second or second to third, these clutch plates are going to move this way. And then another set's going to lock into the housing mm -hmm. and then it's going to hold it in place for the, for the gear ratio to change. So mm -hmm. when you do a flush and stuff like that, all the debris from those friction plates, is actually in that transmission fluid. That's why it gets kind of dirty and stuff like that because transmission fluid isn't an oil. It's more of a detergent. It's like a cleaner. It keeps the ins inside of the uh, transmission clean. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, you're taking all that out and now you have friction plates with nothing to grip onto. And that's what's going to start causing it to slip. And a lot of people say, oh, you should never do it. You have sealed transmissions. It's lifetime fluid. There's no such thing as a lifetime fluid. So if you're just draining and filling, that's fine. Because if you're draining it, you're getting you're getting the fluid out of the pan. You're getting your filter, but you still have fluid left in your torque converter. You still have fluid in your valve body. So there's still fluid in there for those, that debris material, the friction material, to actually still stick to the friction plates. See what I'm saying? That makes instead sense. Of just being, instead of just being all brand new fluid. The only time you would put brand new fluid in there is if it's never been done before and you're before that 60,000 mile mark. Now, if you if you have a truck and you tow heavy equipment all the time, there was guys that came in and got it done every 10 or 15,000 miles. Mm -hmm. And with that being done, because they're putting heavy loads on this transmission and it's constantly working. And I think it was covered under service part warranty, if I'm not mistaken, because they allowed us to do that because they were towing heavy loads with the vehicle and it was a it was a work vehicle. Mm -hmm. But that's how the transmission works on the inside. So those plates are constantly spinning against each other. And when they lock in to hold it against the transmission housing, they stop spinning and another set will start spinning to change the gear ratio. All that friction material, and it's just like a motorcycle clutch or the clutch in your car. Is yours a manual? Uh, it's a CVT, CVT automatic. Oh, yours is a CVT. Okay, that's right. So like in a manual car, when you push the clutch in and you have an external clutch on the outside, it's not inside the transmission. It's pushing against the flywheel. You ever seen to get like all dirty and dusty, like brake dust? That's the same thing that's going into the fluid. That's what's holding everything together. So if you put that detergent in there and it cleans everything out, and now you have nothing for it to grip onto. And it's just going to constantly slip. And then you're, you'll know, you'll go down the road. You'll know when a transmission slips because... The RPMs will go up, but your speed won't. And then it's going to shift really hard. It's going to jerk you. Like that one you guys saw me do live where it spit transmission fluid at me everywhere. Yeah, that was fun. So you're, you're pretty good about doing transmission services on your car. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have any problems at all. No, no, I don't. Now, somebody who's got 200,000 miles on their vehicle and it's never been done before, to drain it and fill it would be fine. But to completely flush it, I would actually advise against it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. why I just need done as a drain and fill on my Lincoln because I don't know if that trans was ever touched before. And see, the, the thing with a drain and fill is it's only like maybe three or four quarts, sometimes six, depends on the transmission. So remember I said you still have it in the torque converter. You still got it in the valve body. So you put four new quarts in there and it's going to mix kind of with the old stuff. And then you're going to do it again in 15, 20,000 miles. Eventually you're going to have new fluid in there. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or you can do it 
every two or three thousand miles just gradually put put new fluid in there because it's going to wear out obviously it's they're moving parts but to actually just in one shot uh go ahead and put the deter the detergent in there flush the whole system out put new fluid in there no i won't do it if it's sixty thousand miles and my service manager came up to me and said hey they want to flush i'm like well you can have one of the little quick lane guys do it because i'm not going to do it because I'll rebuild it when they're done. I'm not going to flush it. Yeah. Um, and you should know of, uh, you should know of that. You remember your truck at Harold's. Exactly. <laughs> so I had a 2011 F-150 and it had the 6R80 transmission. Now that from 2018 and newer, they have the 6R or the, the 10R80, which is a 10 speed. <clears throat> the 6R80 is a six speed. That, that transmission was bulletproof. Literally, you cannot destroy these transmissions. And I was working with Hobby or Hobby Robbie at a mom and pop shop, and a company came in and was like, "Hey, we want to show you our flush machine. Let's use your truck." And I was like, "Well, my truck takes LV fluid. You can't put anything else but LV fluid in this thing." I, I worked at Ford. I've seen these things. I know how they work. Oh, ours is compatible with it. Show me. And he couldn't show me anywhere where it was compatible with it. He was like, well, I promise it's compatible. If it messes anything up, we'll, we'll fix it. Okay, fine. Go ahead and do it. He flushed my whole system, the transmission cooler, everything, all the fluid. It was like 12 quarts. I put it in reverse and it's slipping and whining. I go driving down the road. It's slipping and it's whining. And it's jerking me all over the place. I brought it back. I was like, hey, dude, like you owe me. We're going to go get this diagnosed. He was like, well, we're going to put the motorcraft back in it. And, and see if that fixes it. I'm like, dude, damage is already done. It's not going to fix it. But he bought 12 quarts of Motocraft LV fluid and put it in there. And sure enough, it did not fix it. He ended up the inside of it. I don't know if you guys have seen the inside of a torque converter or how it works. It's basically just a fluid coupler. It has a turbine inside of it and it, it spins fluid outward. And uh, he roasted the inside of that torque converter. They were going to put a whole brand new transmission in it. And then we were like, just fix what's broke. So they put a torque converter in it and uh, I haven't dealt with that guy since. Robbie knows I wanted to beat that dude's ass. <laughs> Justin, I'll never forget him. The I'm not going to say the name of the company. The only fluid where I know is compatible with the Motorcraft is Valvoline. And that's also Napa brand. Which is Na Valvoline makes the Napa fluids like the oils and stuff. Is hey, talking, only about like, talking about transmission fluid? Yes. It, Amsoil. Yeah, but I'm saying Amsoil and Valvoline are the only two that can be mixed with um, Motorcraft. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chris got Amsoil in his. He did an Amsoil flush on his. He said it rides a lot better. Dude, it's so it's just like so much quieter. The, 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 the smooth, just the, the, the way the CVT grabs the gears. Yep. It just grabs them really, really smooth. It's, I mean, it's, it, the price is a little bit more, but your car is gonna last a lot longer. I know, but my with my youngest brother working at Napa, I get oh, yeah. for cheap. I can get a core oil, synthetic oil for a dollar, dollar and a half. Oh, that's not bad. Discount. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So I, I run a Napa oil through my vehicles all the time. That's valvoline, and I'm getting it dirt cheap. I can get yeah. filters for three bucks. They're mm -hmm. platinum. Oh, by the way, you asked me about the FL 500 S. My cost is like six bucks. The Ford Motorcraft. Oh, yeah. yeah. FL 500. I forgot to tell you, my cost is like six dollars. Yeah, I could get filters off my brother for a little cheaper than that, like about four yeah. or five, the whips and I, stuff. I thought I had some in my toolbox, but I don't. I got the nine. Oh, that's fine. That's fine, Anthony. Like I said, I could get Wix filters for dirt cheap oh. off my brother. James said, at least he fixed it for you and didn't disappear. Oh, no, he was trying to disappear. Robbie caught him and was like, no, you're going to fix this man's truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you told him you were. Now you're going to. The thing is, that truck took like three different kind of torque converters and they had to figure out which one it was. A fart in jars. Oh, I fart in jars and seal it to save it before bed. It helps me when I... Helps me sleep when... <laughs> Reinhale it. I don't know where the sun don't shine is, but does anybody know who that is? 
No, nope. just kicked them out. I just, I just asked a question. Check your private chat. Yeah, they got rid of him. Yeah. yeah. All yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, I see. That's why I have moderators, Robbie. You're right. <laughs> I can't explain something and watch a chat at the same time. <laughs> it gets hard. I'm so used to multitasking. Your screen is so easy to mod. I've been oh, on yeah. streams where it's three, four hundred people I'm moderating. Oh, dude. You ever heard of uh, Scammer Payback? Yeah. Man, he's Pierogi. Awesome. Pierogi, yeah. Got, like, I was in there one night. There was like 25,000 people in there. Yeah, he. I think he said on one of his uh, Trouble. live Trouble streams. What year is yours? Is yours a 2011? Trouble. Somebody let me know when he replies to that because I'm trying to remember which transmission it had. Twenty eleven four liter. Twenty eleven? Yeah. I miss my old one ranger so much. I had a two five and a in there. Is his two wheel drive or four wheel drive? Yeah, it's a five speed auto. Hold on. I'm reading the chat. But what I was saying, I miss my old one Ranger, five speed stick, two wheel drive. I this thing had like over five. It's four by four, Anthony. This thing I I drove over five hundred twenty five thousand miles. Ross got to it before that power train crapped out. Oh, oh, a lot of Maintenance is key. That is for sure. Mercon V. ATF. Uh, oh, here we go. Five twenty-seven two thousand ten. This one is a BL five twenty-seven five Z seven thousand D. It's uh yeah. Oh, it's a uh It's not telling me what it is. I just have a part number on it. It doesn't tell me which one it is. I can find out. But I know it fits 144 other vehicles. So it's a pretty pretty common. I can find out when I go to work. I find out which one it is. Yeah, Brogy's awesome, James. See what else we got going on in the chat. <laughs> Always do draining fills. What is the price auto in my 2011? CVT can be serviced too. Same with tons of miles. Yep, don't flush. Man. You guys are active. <laughs> Uh, trouble when I go to work on Tuesday, I'll find out exactly which transmission it is. I wasn't thinking we should invite Rich into the stream, too. I don't want to bother him if he's busy because you know he's doing that whole 
Uh, when he's at home, he's spending time with the family. You got to respect yeah, that. Yeah, yes, I forgot about that. I think he took a small trip, too. Yeah, I don't want to bother him. I try not to bother him too much. Yeah, same here. Every now and then he'll text me or I'll text him if I got like a that whole valve cover gasket or valve crack valve cover. He sent me a picture of that right before he posted the video. Sure enough, 12 minutes later, I had one come in. You're welcome, Trouble. All right, who else got questions? Bob, I can't see you. You turned the camera off. Yeah, sorry about that. Lisa, I know you got questions. Now, when you guys go out to do a job, do you have like a little, uh, one of those fold-up uh, tents to keep the sun off you? <laughs> We're actually going to get one of those. Yeah. We don't and have one yet. The lady that we did the job for last week, she actually brought one out there for us. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. it was nice of her. Yeah. It was hot. It was, yeah, it was hot. You guys should try working outside in the middle of winter by me. You be working in three feet of snow and ice and 25 degree below zero weather, not including wind chill. Mm. Hang on, I got to get my, my laptop charger. My laptop. Well, you guys should wear a, a, some, a sombrero. Robbie, <laughs> <laughs> big old, <laughs> one of those big old ones, like the Marashi one. Yeah, I've actually, uh, <laughs> I've actually got one of those. Uh, I use it for fishing. You know, it's a tan, uh, yeah. floppy looking hat. You know, mm -hmm. I can't remember what you call them, but uh, yeah, you see my blonde guys wearing them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up one with that on. All right, I'm back. Oh, yeah, I was going to do that. How hot does it get over there? Like the, the maximum heat? Um, today was like 100 with a real feel of 105. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. That's pretty warm. Yeah. Our summers are usually in the 80s, very low 90s. What was I looking for? Over here, I mean, the highest it gets is like 80s, like really warm over here. Wow. Same by me. It very rarely will peep or pop into the 90s. Sometimes a hard spot. That's what kills, very rare. Here, what kills us here is the humidity. I mean, it's the very humidity hot. is stupid here. Uh, one of my posts got flagged. Robbie, I'm looking for that picture, man. Which one? You'll see. The one I tagged you in. As soon as I can find it. Oh, uh, come on. Mm. Oh, Did you guys see um, June 13th, it was 114 degrees. Did you guys see Sepper Fies, um video about the tanks getting drilled out by him? Um, no, I didn't. I haven't seen that one yet. I saw the notification. I just haven't had a chance to watch it. Yeah, he's just talking about people stealing gas. He had to replace a fuel tank on a Cadillac. Yeah, I mean, speaking of drilling holes, when I worked at uh, doing stuff for the city, um, they had a 2011 Ford Ranger come in. It was empty on gas. They said somebody had punctured the gas tank. So I put a whole new tank, new fuel pump. They wanted everything in it. They come and pick it up that day. The next morning it comes back, same thing. Three holes in the bottom of it. We're like, we told you to park this thing like in the gate. They were parking it out front of the building and people were coming and drilling holes in it and taking the gas out. It was pretty my funny. brother, my brother looked up a fuel tank for my Lincoln for the cheap, cheap Chinese ones is a thousand hours for an OEM one. It's 18 hard for a better, like an upgraded one from OEM. It's uh -huh. 22 hard. And that's with his discount. Oh, where's that picture at? For the gas tank? Yep. Man, that's so, expensive. Because I have an all metal gas tank on my Lincoln. Yeah, they're not cheap. That's pricey. 
Well, it has to be very good quality. I mean, like stainless steel or whatever, some good stuff, quality stuff, because it doesn't want, so the gasoline doesn't deteriorate the metal. Yeah, the OEM and the um, upgrade one is stainless steel. The Chinese one is just it literally just sheet metal spray painted. I'm searching for this meme. Robbie, that one I tagged you in when it's this hot in the shop. You see me wearing this, mind your own business. <laughs> oh, they flagged that? Huh? They got no, they didn't fl no, they didn't flag that. Right now, 59 in New Jersey today was 89. I worked in a factory that was 130 inside, heat coming off machines, hotter, cutting oil all over. Yeah. Oh, couldn't do it. I, I used to get pretty, pretty hot up in the hayloft when I was a kid stacking hay. Oh, that gets warm. Man, I'm trying to keep up with everything. Hey, Anthony, were you able to see my review or not? You still no. can't see it. No. That's weird. It, I don't know, man. It's just it, it doesn't post some of my reviews. You're not the only one. Yeah. We're missing like what, three or four on there right now? Yeah. So I if, I go, if I go to it, yeah. I think, um, yeah, we're still waiting for that, that hold. Uh, share. I gotta get that code to put in there. <clears throat> See it? Yeah, lasers. That's the only one we've gotten in there. I wonder yeah. why it does that. I don't know. You, you guys probably still hear my na neighborhood popping off. A little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna contact them. I'm gonna try to contact them, like send their. I'm gonna, yeah, check why that's going on. So you left one. Lisa left one. We can see his. My friend Catherine left one, and I think Lorenzo left one too. So three out of the four, I can't see. Yeah. As soon as I get that that pin code. Give me one sec. I'm hoping uh, maybe they'll show up. Yeah, I still got to write a review for you guys. I was telling Nancy, I, I think we hit up on something there. I think it's going to take off. You're out right in there, buddy. Ouch. That hurt. That really hurt. Oh, where'd Lisa go? Hello? Not sure. Huh. Yeah. He's not in here. He's not on my screen anymore, at the bottom of my screen. What other questions you guys have? James was a kid. Hmm. Oh, he's back. Come on, get me a beer. We'll be right back. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get myself a beer, too. Oh, look, I started a trend. Yeah, me too. I've already done one with another one. Uh, I started a trend. Anyway, when are you coming down to visit? Me? When you when you are willing to pay for me to visit? <laughs> When's anybody coming to visit?
Y'all come visit. You can go on a job with me and Robbie. Yeah. The thing is with me, can't afford to travel right now. I don't think anybody can right now. Why is gases? Hell no. Oh, dude. Remember when I sent you that picture? It was $4.13? Yeah. It was, I got gas earlier today. It was $4.03, I think. I filled up my brother's Explorer at four ninety nine a gallon. I sent you the picture at Toxic Geoids. Yeah. Well, this is at Walmart. You know, like Murphy USA at Walmart? Yeah. Yeah, it was $4.03. Diesel's still over 5 Here, diesel's sitting at almost 6 Majority of stations is still at 5 and a half for regular. Very few, very few are under $5 right now. Lisa, are you frozen? <laughs> He's are frozen. He <laughs> <laughs> All Lisa might be on that DSL connection. Yeah. <laughs> He's on Embark. Yeah, and I got to make. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Drive my scooter around with a cigar pointing at. Oh. Couldn't believe it was the kid that mowed the lawn. Lisa froze, man. He disappeared again. Who all's in here? We got some. We got some. Trolls in here? Or no. Mm -mm. No. And trust me, that one. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the excuse few me. trolls, what, or that one troll, <laughs> what came in here? I've dealt with way worse. Oh yeah. Mainly on Richard's stream. Hey, he's back. <laughs> I don't want way worse. Oh, yeah. Me, me, I was just free. You were frozen. Ah, this phone is going crazy. I think I got to put gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> it operates so old, it operates on the internal combustion engine. <laughs> Yeah. Did, did y'all hear that replay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Michael <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> Miss Katina's mm. in there coughing. Mm hmm. You're right, babe. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> the other babe. <laughs> Is he frozen again? Okay. No. <laughs> uh, <he's moving. laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll just say we just get drunk, whatever. <laughs> I got things to do tomorrow. Mm. <coughs> Me too. Can't wait till I have to buy heating oil this winter. Over five forty a gallon now, dude. That's crazy. I got to get oh. too. Mm. I got something to. To show you guys, I I got a tool sponsor. I thought you were gonna post us an OnlyFans link. I will. I'll send that to you privately. <laughs> but no, I got I got a tool sponsor, man. They send me two things. You guys are gonna love this, man. And uh, let me bring it up right quick. Even the price on this is like, if you were to buy it straight out, is like ridiculous. But they're sending it to me. Robbie, this will come in handy for us too, buddy. First, I'm going to go. Where do you go? There it is. All right. Get my camera back.
back. Let me share this. You guys know what torque sticks are, right? Yeah. Okay. So they're sending me two things. Torque sticks is one of them. And they're congrats called, on the sponsorship. They're called Capri Tools. They're sending me these torque sticks here. Cool. Oh, nice. Nice. Those are nice to have right there. Yes, sir. Um, if you look at the price, they're fifty nine ninety nine, but they're get, they're going to give me a link for you guys to use for discount stuff. So it's not going to cost you guys fifty nine bucks. Um, they sent me the stuff. Obviously, it's a it's a holiday weekend, so I haven't been able to I haven't got it yet. Um, the other thing that they sent me, you guys will love this. This right here. Look at this. Oh. Ultimate oil drain tool set. Ah, uh, where did it go? It comes with everything there. It comes with the light, the wrenches, two magnetic cups, uh, cool. and the drain bucket. That's cool. Oh, that's, that's nice. nice. See, it says uh, they're you can choose from metric or standard wrenches over here. The LED UV work light, 3H drive, flax head premium ratchet. Oh, there it is in there. I see it. Am I uh, one of the few people who prefer metric over what we have? But if you, you see the price of this, one seventy nine to one ninety nine. Let me add that to the car. Oh, I won't let me add it. But, uh, you gotta choose metric or SAE. Oh. Yeah, I'll oh, bet the sure. metric is the more expensive. Yeah, one ninety nine. SAE is 179. Either way, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, there's a ratchet in there too. But look at these, look at these uh wrenches, man. Look at them. That's cool shit. Yeah. And then you got two magnetic parts bowls. That needs to be added to the uh you have this, inventory. Yep. This LED light right here. I think it's uh if I'm not mistaken, if you go look at just the light. Look, they got torque wrenches too. Well, what the hell is going on here? So, what's the difference between a torque uh, wrench and uh, the torque stick? That's six hundred twenty lumens on that light, guys, and the light by itself is fifty nine bucks or sixty bucks. Yeah, see, like that that deal he's got there. You don't, you know. So instead of having to, uh, I'll get you, you in a know, second, Chris. You, I heard you, you tighten your lug nuts, yeah. then you have to go grab your torque stick. You know, do your torque. This right here, so like if it's a, a hundred pound, foot pound torque, you put that on there, and when you uh, impact it on there, it automatically torques it at a hundred. It'll stop turning. Yeah, and it, it won't let you tighten it no more. Then you you know you're not having to you know have two separate tools. So you, I love those. Yeah, guns. you you put it on with your your gun and then you go back with a torque wrench and you know 100 pounds click click yeah when you use that torque stick it's basically like an extension you put your socket yeah. on the end of it you zip the lug nut on there and when it hits 100 foot pounds it won't let it turn anymore mm -hmm. it's it's at 100 foot pounds that way you don't over torque it or break it yeah and they're pretty close man i think rich did a video on one i think it was like one foot pound off so that's that's pretty close man yeah mm -hmm. He said, I yeah, quit my I'm, SAE. I'm the same on that SAE. I mean, it's all, even your Chevrolet's for all that stuff's metric. It's everything's metric. Like drain plugs and stuff. And I prefer everything a metric. <clears throat> yeah. Leaser's got to get. But yo, <laughs> I was excited. Robbie, I forgot to tell you all about that. They're, that's what they're sending me. That's awesome. And uh, what I did was I, I just kind of reached out to them like, hey, you got anything you want reviewed or anything like that? I have a YouTube channel. I have a, a, a mobile automotive business that I own. And they were like, well, hey, pick two things and we'll, and we'll get back to you. So I was like, I'll take that and that. Because, you know, being mobile, I won't be able to. They don't have any battery powered stuff yet. And mm -hmm. she contacted me back. She was like, what's your address? We're sending it out. I was like, well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Like 200, actually more than that, 250 bucks worth of tools for free. Tax right off. <laughs> well, I'm going to review the hell out of it, though. Obviously, you guys will get a link to that, and you're not going to pay that full price for it. But we can do a uh, we can do a video on it too. Yeah, I'm going to do a review video. That's part of uh, them sending it to me. I got to do a review. So, 
I got all these emails, like people wanting to sponsor stuff. And some of it was just garbage. It has nothing to do with automotive or anything like that. So that the battery one, remember the battery one that I did, the rechargeable batteries, they're sending me like five nebulizers because they're trying oh, to do nice. charity for, they're trying to do charity for nebulizers. So they're sending me five of them to give away for free. Wow. Free tools are odd. The free tools are cool, Lisa. <laughs> tools are expensive, man. Oh, you're not kidding. Do you guys remember my big um, one inch drive ratchet? The one that I used to like tighten down brake calipers and stuff like that. My Maco one. That thing was like 325 bucks. I don't doubt it. But my, my tool guy is so cool, and I wanted the green <sighs> handle one. And he had the orange handle. I was like, I want the green handle one, man. He's like, man, these things go on sale tomorrow. I was like, really? He was like, yeah, if you wait till tomorrow, I'll order you a green handle. I said, okay. Paid 150 bucks for it. Wow. That's a good deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good deal. That ratchet. that That's my ratchet where I'm like, okay, you're coming loose. I'm not playing around anymore. <laughs> that thing's like at least, I think it's like three feet, something like that. It's the same length as my big pry bar. Like from me being a tech community, a Pixel 6 here, got it for free. Well, send me a free phone. Yeah. <laughs> I gave this to my mom. Okay. Because I, I use a Apple products. I'm like, hey, it's a cool phone. I played with it for a while. I just cannot adjust to Android. Uh, my mom needed a new phone. I was like, here. I was like, here's your new phone. I'll settle for beer. Same with me. <laughs> but I got like a shit ton of cases for like iPhone 13 Pro Maxes and stuff laying around the house. And it's like, I got all this stuff I have no use for. eBay. Two-thirds of that stuff was already sold on like offer up and stuff. I want those little low-profile wrench ratchets. Those are ratcheting wrenches too, Robbie. Those... Those will come in handy. Oh, they yeah. they are ratcheting. Yeah, they are ratcheting. Cool. And then you know, like they're they're quality from what I've heard. Like I've looked for videos. Not a whole lot of people have put like videos out. They did like the oil drain bucket, but they don't have they didn't have the whole kit where it was the bucket, the wrenches, the magnetic tray, the light, the ratchet. That's what they're sending me. Yeah. And that's the whole thing for a whole oil change kit. Usually when you get oh, an yeah. oil change kit, it's like oil and a filter. You know, mm -hmm. this is like the drain bucket and everything. Yeah. Which um, I've read some of the reviews and a lot of people like them. They say it's better than Snap-on and Matco and all that stuff. And I'm a I'm a diehard Matco guy. Hey, Bob, I started out with an Android, then went to Apple. Now I look at an Android and I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm an Android guy. I'm sorry, guys. Come on. Yeah, I'm Apple. Like, um. I know how to work Apple or Androids. It's just I prefer the Apple OS over Android. Yeah, their security, operating system. security features on Apple is amazing. Yeah, I'll give them that. Yes. But I, I just don't like their setup. I don't like... It's just very weird to me. They got a lot better on their setup. Way different over the last like, four or five years. Cheers, Chris. Is that a Corona? Yeah, it yeah, is. I, uh, I got a course. Oh, yeah. Is that the, is that the banquet? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what are you, Johnny over there? Come on now. <laughs> Sweep the leg. <laughs> they said that when, uh, when, the, when the virus came out, that the Corona beer sales went down. They did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's my second favorite. Yeah. I, I'm a Coors Light or Corona guy. I had Coors, Coors Light. or Old Style. Last night. My grandpa my, my grandpa turned ninety nine years old yesterday. Wow. And he's wow, ninety nine. He, like mentally dude, he's he's all in there. Like he he he's he he gambles like every day, so I think that has to do with his like his <laughs> brain skills. <laughs> I'm 38. I'll be 39 in December, and I'm not all there. Like, yeah. but he's he like physically he's kind of he's slow. Like he moves slow, but his brain is just he's sharp. 
Dude, just imagine, like, I would love to sit down and have a conversation with him just in 99 years, the things he that he's so seen. Stories. Yeah. The, the things, the, the things that he's seen change and mm -hmm. like, like somebody told me, if you see an old person sitting there in like a, in a restaurant early morning getting coffee, you know what I mean? Talk to that person. Yeah. You might learn something. And I'm he like, has a lot of stories. I used to love to, uh, my dad and all his buddies, they would sit at Hardy's <clears throat> on, uh, over there on Cumberland Road. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Uh, they would sit there in the mornings and, uh, just hearing them talk was just, like some of the stuff you they talked about, you know, yeah. you just sit there and you just be like, you know, just stuff they've been through and uh, the Vietnam stories, all that stuff, you know, it's yeah. just, you know, it's just pretty cool. Well, see, it's kind of like now they're, they're asking you and I questions and we're answering these, but just think 15, 20 years down the road. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've had, I've had people stop me in the grocery store or in the parking lot or something. Sir, can you help me with my vehicle? And they might be like a younger person or something like that. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, younger younger people don't really want to listen to you. Like, oh yeah, if you, if you would just listen, your vehicle wouldn't be doing that. Right now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's how I learned. Besides going to school, I would go bug Scott Tart. Yeah. And me and Scott actually became really good friends. And he lives in South Carolina now, and it sucks. And I miss Scott. Yeah. I would bug yeah. Scott. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, my little net. Shit, man. My little nephew's people. like that. Do I know? My little nephew's like that. If you tell him, I tell him, like, hey, you got to change the oil in your car, change your transmission fluid. And he just gets up, he gets upset. And I was like, dude, I'm just letting you know so your car could last. Yeah. 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 I'm going to tell you, I was proud as shit of my daughter. <clears throat> um, it's been about a month ago. <clears throat> she uh, she wanted to do her own battery on a friend's car, not her car, but a friend's car, and uh, it was a Ford um, EcoSport. Oh, nice! Yeah, and uh, and, and it's got the fuse panel, everything right there on top. You know, everything's in the front. Yep. But you know, she was telling them like, yeah, you know, he's you know he talked about how to work on cars, blah blah, blah. and. Um, you know, and it was a little difficult for him, so she FaceTimed me the whole time. I was on FaceTime for like an hour, you know, but she did it. I mean, she did it. I mean, she's 20. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's 24. Uh, and uh, Jordan's 24, right? <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> but Yeah. Hey, Miss Katina. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, she... Like I FaceTime with her, you know, she wanted to do it. I mean, I, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, uh, kids that age, they don't give a shit about that stuff, you know, huh? Yeah, they don't. I know she turned 24 on the 10th, June the 10th. Young whippersnappers, yep. yeah, but, they get uh, upset. Yeah. But I mean, she knows how to change tires, you know, um, uh, all that stuff, you know, so. So I'm proud. always pretty proud. I'm always willing to like somebody that has more certifications than me and somebody that's been doing like I hate transmissions. I hate electrical. I can do them, but they're not my strong points. Mm -hmm. So the guy in the bay next to me, he's a senior master tech and he's like eight years younger than I am. But I learned from him. Uh -huh. There's things that I don't know. Hey, like I was getting frustrated the other day. Like I was trying to get something out of an engine bay and I, I was like, man, like I've done these before and I don't remember how I did it. And he walks over. He's like, do you need some help? I was like, his name's Matt. I was like, Matt, dude, I'm having a little bit of trouble here, dude. I'm having like a brain fart. I've done these before. I don't remember how to do it. He was like, here, let me give you a hand. He walks over and it's just like, Bloop, pulls it right out. He was like, maybe you just were holding your mouth the wrong way or you just need to step away. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, he's like, a really uh, good guy, but did, did you ever know Frank Hemingway? Did you ever know him? Yeah. Um, God rest his soul, man. He, uh, that dude was like, I learned so much from him back in the day at Cadillac. He was one of those guys, like, if a job paid four hours, he could do it in 45 minutes. Yep. He'd show you shortcuts and all, like how to get stuff out. I mean, I learned a lot from that guy, man. Scott. You know Scott as well oh, yeah. as I do. 
I worked with Scott at Ford and then he worked with me doing police cars. I got him a job doing uh, that. Scott actually pushed me to do better. And what it was is when I was doing my web courses and stuff, I did all that and I was getting ready to go to classes and I wanted to learn more. I wanted some hands on stuff. So I would go bug Scott and I was like, hey, dude, how do I do this? He's got a transmission just torn apart on the table. He's like, here you go. I'm like, what do you want me to do with it? He's like, put it back together. Uh -huh. And I'm like, how do I do this? He was like, I'll stop you if you mess up. Just start putting it back together. <laughs> and that's how I learned. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to learn. Just be thrown right into the deep end. Scott is one of those guys. He's from New Jersey, like James. And uh, he's one of the coolest people ever. But if you made him mad, you would know it. And I've seen customers make him mad before. Yeah. And Scott's one of the coolest dudes ever. And he'll give you the shirt off of his back. He'll lend you any tool that you need. But uh, you remember, he's not uh, going to do it for you. He'll teach you how to do it, but he's not going to do it yeah. for you. You remember the guy with the uh, alignment rack in the backyard? Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, like when you guys go to a dealership, you go in and you talk to a service advisor and then you go into a waiting room. You don't see what happens in the back. Well, you probably do, Bob, because you're back there with Rich. But yeah, like throughout the day, there's so much stuff that happens. And it's like, did we just get away with that? Like, did you really just tell a customer to F off? Like, well, I mean, they've been bugging me for the last 45 minutes about the stupidest crap. What do you want me to do? That's when you can tell a technician's having a bad day. Oh, yeah. I hate transmissions, DM. I hate them. I would rather do a manual transmission than an automatic because mm. the manual is just like two shafts, gears, and synchronizers. That's it. Yeah, straightforward. Yeah. 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 Lisa's quiet. Yeah. I see him moving around, but he's quiet. I was all having a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> that left handed cigarette. <laughs> ah, cigars. Uh, Can't afford cigarettes right now. <laughs> but no, sir, just froze. <laughs> Scott was basically one of my mentors. I love Scott to death. I need to call that dude. Like, he moved yeah. down to South Carolina. Man, if he if you ever hear that he's like coming back here for something, man, we need to like have a. <clears throat> Some dinner or something, man, just to catch up. Who, Scott? Trip. Yeah. Man, Scott's awesome. He's doing a lot better down there. Obviously, he became the transmission guy. You know that. It's like he started working on a transmission. All of a sudden, it's like, you're the transmission guy. <laughs> yeah. But the dude is a genius, man. He, mm -hmm. like, you can ask him any question and he knows. <sighs> Did something just break? <laughs> no, that was my bottle cap going in my bottle there. Oh, no. Okay. But no, Scott, Scott's a genius, man. Like, he is. We were working on a uh, F-150 at doing the, um, the city stuff. I was having a throttle body issue, and I thought I fixed it, and I reprogrammed everything, and then the truck wouldn't move after that. I was like, oh, crap. Scott came behind me. And my man, my service manager had given him the ticket to look at because Scott works second shift. And Scott was like, Scott pulled me to the side. He was like, hey, dude, you did everything right except one thing. And I was like, what was that? He was like, you missed this one thing. And I was like, dude, I can't believe I just missed that. You know what it was? I had to check from the back side of the of the throttle body of the wire harness that goes to the PCM. I had to ohm that out. It had high resistance on it. It was a failure in the powertrain control module. Oh wow. Scott found it. He did he went back and did everything that I did, but then he took it one step further. I was yeah. like, when it failed, dude, that was that that was I didn't know what to do after that. He was like, all you had to do was go that one next pinpoint test and you would have had it. Hey Thomas. So, we got Semper in the house. Oh, Thomas is here. What's up, Thomas? So, like, he didn't throw me under the bus or anything because they were like, oh, he did it wrong, he did it wrong. And Scott's like, no, he did everything right. He just missed a step. He didn't do anything yeah. wrong. 
He just missed a step. Yeah. I missed a step. And I admit it, I missed a step. So it happens. We're not perfect. But my phone's <laughs> almost dead, guys. I'm gonna take off. Thomas, you wanna get you wanna take uh, Bob's spot? Have a great Independence Day, guys. You too, buddy. Yeah, Thanks happy for fourth, Bob. Good to see you, man. Nice to see you too. Happy fourth. Watching you guys while I'm out running. No, no, I'm gonna send you an email. You're coming in here, dude. <laughs> you live stream all the time while doing this. Uh, Always oh, fix things around the house. My drawer is <laughs> That sounds like my wife. Things can be fixed. They can. Thomas said, we'll send it. I'm sending. I'm sending. <clears throat> Robbie, you missed it last time with him in here. <laughs> we spent like. Hey, tell him if he gets to the five stream, man, he's got to have a beer now. I know yeah, he's still, driving, but. You still have a beer? <laughs> he spent like a hundred something dollars on uh Mexican food. He was yeah. like, this is this isn't right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I sent it. What's taking you so long? You know, it's easy enough to spend a hundred bucks at McDonald's. I don't eat McDonald's, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> when you did the other day, you had your little McChicken. Don't oh, yeah. That, that was like a month ago. <laughs> no, it weren't. That was just last week, brother. So, what do you think about Sheets Super 88 Fuel? It's three ninety nine. dollars Oh, Thomas. Come on, come on, come on. Damn, boy, my wife sounds terrible in there. I always fix things around the house. My dryer. Oh, 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 we got him. Oh, What's up, oh. What's up buddy? Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Hey, Thomas. What are you doing? Up, brother? I'm out running doing, some man? errands. Running some errands? Yeah, man. My daughter, she's sick. She sent me out for some McDonald's. We we're just talking about McDonald's. <laughs> Y'all chat for a minute. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. Me too. You gotta fill up. Hold on. What are you guys up to? <laughs> Not much. Hey, make sure you give me a, a Big Mac. Who ate a Big Mac? I said, make sure to give me a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. There's a little bit of a delay when I talk. It's about five seconds. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. This is like my third McDonald's I've been to. They're all fucking closed.
Uh huh. Sorry, guys. My wife's talking to me for a second. Hey, Bunny McDonald. This one's open. I wanted to see Thomas and that kid throw down. You beat him, Thomas? What's that? Did you beat that kid? Some about mowing lawns? I don't know. I, I didn't. I oh, had no. He's, uh, he was a young kid. He was like 13. So? Man enough to throw hands, man enough to get beat. Oh, no. I sure did. <laughs> you should have given him a military beatdown. <laughs> he would have made it. 13. 13, man. 13 is the new 18. What you talking about? I know, but uh, the balls he had, he stole the gas from the car and then used it on her own yard. Wow. What is up with kids these days? There was these kids one time, they were harassing um, a, a couple. It was an older, older man and a lady. And I guess they were in the park walking. And um, the wife got upset with the husband saying, why didn't he say anything to those kids? Like, why didn't he beat them up? And she said, honey, I'm an army ranger. I could have well, broken other necks. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like all three of them, too. Pull a Thanos. Done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Thomas, let us see the drive through person. He's frozen. You, you were frozen in the most funniest position. <laughs> so is Leisure. <laughs> Lisa, are you frozen too? Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Thomas looks like he's sniffing his phone. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck you guys. What? Oh. <laughs> You're still frozen. Look at me. I'm a big. Are you licking your phone? No. <laughs> oh, we lost Lisa. We lost Lisa again. Who all still in here, man? Y'all throw him down tonight. Oh, Lisa's back. Oh. There he is. Thomas. Is Lisa frozen again? <laughs> yeah. Chris, are you I, frozen? I'm supposed to have the same kind of fold I am. Chris is not frozen. Mm -mm. It looks like Thomas and Lisa are trying to kiss. I'm confused. Well, oh, there he is. Uh -huh. oh, I'm back. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that's a finger from later. Yeah. <laughs> is it a finger? <laughs> hey, let me see the drive through person. No, oh, we ain't there yet. We got a line. Damn. It's fucked it on, on there. You ain't even made an order yet. It's fucked. Only McDonald's and Columbus, obviously. They got the munchies right now. Yeah, my fucking daughter sent me out here. At 10.30? At 10.30, yeah. I just got. I had to take my son home. I had him for the weekend. He lives a couple hours away, and I had to take him back to his mom's. And I didn't get back till late. Obviously, my wife don't know how to feed the fucking kids when I'm gone. Oh, Lisa's gone. What happened? 
Oh, it's the phone. <laughs> You're right in there. Huh? Ooh. That was a good shot. And he's spinning. Where'd Thomas go? <laughs> this is... All right, let's, let's try this. Chris, you're muted. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, well, while we're waiting on them to come back in here, do you have any other questions? I know you were asking me about the timing chain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I was asking you, like, what are their, the symptoms of a bad timing chain? Uh, you'll get misfires all the time, um, usually on startup. You'll have a misfire on startup code. Mm -hmm. It won't run right. It'll sound like it's chugging and burping. Um, you'll get slapping, like rattling really bad. Oh, God. Uh, you'll get, it'll run really, really rough, like vibrate. But most of the time, you'll get a lot of chatter noise. Device is not connected. They will need to connect their mic. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Anyway. Yeah, man, did you see our website, Thomas? No, I haven't had a chance yet to look at it. Yeah, man, we got a website. We just did the Facebook page. Where did he go? Yeah, there it goes. No, I haven't had a chance yet to look at it. <laughs> oh, he's back. Hey, man, this is like. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. The phone's closer to the Wi Fi. Get it closer. I'll be sitting on it. If I get any closer, I'll be sitting on it. I wore a timing chain as a necklace while riding my scooter. Is that the timing chain that I gave you trouble? Wow. This is what you call a cluster frig. <laughs> what a fucking mess. Yes. But that's okay. That's that's what being live is all about, right, Thomas? Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. It's me fucking around with shit. No, oh, you're good. I was trying to use my headphones so I could hear. Can you not hear us? Well, I'm just deaf. I can't hear very good to begin with. Besides that, can you hear us? Uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> With my one good ear, I have a hearing aid that I wear. It's real small. Sometimes you'll see it in the videos um, when I don't have it in. So I usually have to carry these with me so I can hear shit. You'll see it in the videos. Did you order yet? No, nah, man. I still got uh, like six people in front of me. Lisa froze again. Please tell me that's his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. I heard him. You sound like a McDonald's drive through <laughs> Thomas, you need to come down here and visit Robbie and I. I know, yeah. man. I was thinking about that. I need to make a trip down there. Yeah, go on a job with us. That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Make a little video. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it would. You're more than welcome to come down here, man. We'll feed you and everything. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Business when are you coming? Business. My wife's about to go, on, uh, go to North Carolina. She's going on vac vacation. Who? My wife. 
She's coming to North Carolina? Yeah, her and her uh, family, they go down there <laughs> once a year. <clears throat> what part? It's uh, it's right on the border of South Carolina. There's a small little beach over there. Shalot? I don't know. I'm not sure what the name is. I know it's real small. Probably got uh, Shalot. You got Curry Beach. Wilmington's a little further north. Yeah, it's near Wilmington, I think. A little college. Is that a college town, Wilmington? Yeah, you got Curry Beach. You got uh, and what else is it down there, Robbie? Carolina Beach. Yeah, you got Carolina Beach, Calabash. Yeah, Curry uh, Beach. I was stationed at Lejeune, Camp Lejeune, and it's uh, only like two hours, or maybe an hour from Wilmington, something like that. Yeah, Lejeune, you're like Lejeune's like. Hour and 45 minutes, two hours from me. That's like Cherry Point and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've been Cherry Point for like three years. Yeah. Yeah, like New Bern and all that. Yeah. I bought a motorcycle from a guy that lived in Havelock. He was a Marine. Yeah. Yeah, I've been down there a few times. Old Jacksonville. Yeah, we should go down there and get on base. I get us on there. We can. Uh, they got these hotel rooms, and we can go in there and stay real cheap. And then we can charter like a fishing boat, like world. Well, I'll tell you, it'll get weird before it gets warm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to come down here in this heat? No, no, I do not. <laughs> Fucking fat, bro. You ain't gonna go in any heat. It was like a hundred, hundred one degrees today. I went to the the kids been dra dragging me to the pool. I went to a pool yesterday, the city pool, and then we went to a lake two days in a row. Just going oh, swimming. Plenty of that around here, man. I know we got alligators, right? No, that's Louisiana, bro. Totally different state. No, we had alligators at Lejeune. We don't have alligators here. We do I'm, te no, I'm telling we you, we had gators at Lejeune. And there we had a gator bridge, and we used to have to go over there and patrol it. Uh, yeah, they don't eat much. I mean, you're safe. I've never seen any big ones. Like they, maybe like six or seven foot. There's that one that lives right there at the battleship, North Carolina. He's been there for years. Yeah, well, there, I know there's a Lejeune. We'll take you to a place to get a cheeseburger that's not McDonald's. We'll get you some Southern barbecue. Yeah, there you go. We'll drink a couple yeah. beers. We'll go sightseeing. Chris, you can come along too. I sent you a picture of that, that Archway Burgers, the menu. Last time I was in North Carolina was 12. You were 12? Uh-oh, got the wife calling. Hang on there. All right. <laughs> I can eat the hamburger every day. You eat a hamburger every day? No, I, I could eat one every day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Robbie, you haven't had Archway burgers, have you? Mm -mm. No. Oh, man. I got to take you to Archway. It's downtown. Yeah, I ain't been there. It's on Person Street. Uh, if you're going going down Person Street from, like, uh, where I worked at on the police cars, like you're headed to the market house, mm -hmm. it's going to be on the right, right across from the fried turkey sandwich shop. Oh, okay. Dude, that place is awesome. Awesome. Best burger you'll burger. ever have. Huh? I love a good burger. Oh, you'll love it here. It's a mom and pop burger place. It's not like a huge corporation chain. They make the mm -hmm. patties right there. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, you'll love it. <clears throat> what is ruckus juice? I don't know. What is ruckus juice? Anybody know what ruckus juice is? Mm -mm. Bro, you wouldn't believe it. My wife just called and said, oh, shit, the kid's asleep. <laughs> so no McDonald's. I just got up here to order. Look. Oh, well, no, I don't uh, mean no, anything. No, 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 no. I need a number one. No, man, no, number one. And I'm out of here. Sorry. You need another a 20 piece chicken nugget. <laughs> Looks like I made a, made a getaway. 
<laughs> yeah, my wife calls. Where are you at? Like, what the fuck you think I'm at? My girlfriend's house, you know. <laughs> you should have at least got some nuggets while you were there. I know, man. I'm, I just, I'm done. I'm gonna go home. I'm fucking tired. It's past my bedtime. Did you do any jobs today? Oh, that's the weekend. Never mind. What's that? You got any jobs lined up? Uh, yeah, I got to do a uh, change that fuel tank. If you seen the video today, it's about um, somebody punched a fuel punch or uh, drilled a hole out and stole their gas. So we had to order a fuel tank today. We ordered it like three days ago. Uh, so I'll be doing that here in the next couple of days. I'll go watch that video. Yeah, they fucking drilled a hole in the bottom of the gas tank and stole the gas. <laughs> I got to check that's the video what, out, too. That's what they're talking about. It was a 13-year-old kid who did it. It was on her camera. It was her lawnmower boy. She He fucking stole the gas and then used the gas <laughs> on her yard mowing it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I don't know. I didn't see him put it in, but it just it came together. You know what I mean? Like... He's on camera stealing the gas that night. That next day, he's out front mowing her fucking yard, happy as can be. Oh, he made double profit on that one. I was like, this, yeah, that's why I didn't fucking snatch him up. I was like, hey, man, like, that's pretty good, actually, you know? <laughs> that actually is pretty good. <laughs> you know, so I was like, I mean, I gave him a little wink, like, hey, motherfucker, I know you did it. <laughs> you know, but I didn't want to bust him out. But I feel bad because she's an older woman and she's a repeat customer. So, like, I didn't charge her a diagnosis fee and shit. And I always fucking do that. I'm so stupid. Like, I always I always make it too personal instead of just being strictly business. James said when you get home, the kids will wake up and want their food. Oh, I'll fucking no. Uh, I'll give them melatonin and go back to bed. <laughs> they can have melatonin for dinner is what they can have. Here, eat these gummies. You'll be fine. Yeah. Here's a couple of Xanaxes in the bottom of your bottle. Oh, I do need to go in this convenience store real quick, though. Yeah, let us talk to the convenience store people. Well, they don't look safe right now. Is this place open? Open? All right. Yeah, this is, uh... This ought to be good. Oh, we'll see. I live like in... Weird place, brother. Horn blows. How about the driver? <laughs> hey, buddy, what's up? I can hide now. You can tell I come to these places every day. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get a monster here. No, go to no down, down, no. Go down. What's wrong? Down. Down. All the way down here? Down. To the left. There? To the left. Yeah, that one. This up, one? Up to the right. Yellow one? Yes. T and Lemonade I We'll give it a shot. We'll take Trust it with me. us. Trust me. Why is he so goddamn hot? This ain't even... <laughs> they ain't even working. Dude, look how herpy on my lip, but oh my god. I do, bro. I don't know where it came from. From the girlfriend. Oh. Right now, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Um, it's like a goddamn short of falling off here. He stopped breathing, right? He stopped. And he's, he's um, Carly, his wife, that's my niece. Oh, okay. We just, um, I'm going to try. Uh, you need to press the green. You need to inside the product. At least you ain't got a gun like the other person. Remember that video? Jeez. You okay? That's a different story there. Are you running in place? 
Oh. <coughs> kind of busy for 10.45 at night. What's your guys' plans tomorrow? Nothing. Nothing. I got to work tomorrow. I got to work in a hospital. Oh, yeah? What do you do? I'm a kitchen supervisor. Oh, yeah? My grandmother uh, was uh, worked in the kitchen at a hospital for, like, the one that has cancer, the one that, that I talk about sometimes. She worked at a ho or, uh, in the kitchen, like, yeah, for, like, 20 years. Chris, how long you been there? For seven years. Yeah, seven years, three months. Nice. I like my job, man. I, I love my job. Oh, that's good, man. Mm -hmm. Most people don't. I don't even like my family, let alone my job. <laughs> and our, our, our food, man, it, it doesn't taste like hospital food, dude. We have a really good chef. He's like, oh, really? Top notch, dude. That's cool. Yeah, like, uh, like my grandma worked at the Florida hospital and uh, they had to have a culinary degree for her to work there, you know, mm -hmm. for, for her position. That's she funny. lied on her resume and they never even checked it. <laughs> my grandma worked there like 30 years just lying away. Well, the thing is, what's up, boy? How you been, man? Yeah, daughter's school. Yeah, she's, she's out of school. Yeah. Now. She's out of school, so we just anything been... else, bro? Five dollars. Let me get a pack of Newport short menthol. Five dollars for a monster? No, I got two of them. I got that one oh. you told me to get. Oh, they're usually anything two else, for four. <laughs> That's it, bro. Out of beer, man. So in the hospital, the, the recipes are already on on the on there on on the system. I I have, uh, you, you, are? you said you're on the system. No, the it's recipes, like the the recipes, the food recipes. Uh huh. They just the cooks just have. You been follow. good though, man. Yeah, good to see you. you right now, I'm food. been here working for days. She came, she came with your wife one day. I said I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I We'll Thank be you. back through Thursday. Or, uh, she got, I have her doing tutoring over oh, there, so okay. we'll swing by then. All right, brother. Take care. Well. Have a good night. Happy Fourth of July. Uh, you too, brother. Do you guys make certain food on certain days for certain yeah. menus? Yeah, yeah, we do. Well, we have like we'll make like prime rib for the patients, or like a uh, flank steak marinated in teriyaki yeah. sauce, homemade I'm teriyaki sauce. Yeah, yeah, dude, it, it's it's. It's we have it's a it's the food's pretty good, man. For being a hospital food, wow. Thomas, give that uh, tea lemonade a little shake before you open it. All right, I'm gonna bust it open now. It's kind of warm. I should probably throw it in the freezer. Yeah, it, it tastes good warm too. Trust me. All right, I'm gonna fucking nail this bitch. <laughs> Trip, man. Yeah, I think we're in this area where I, where I live out. We have like the, some of the best food. I think there's another hospital that keeps up with us. You flip out if you came to Cape Fear Valley around here. Oh god. Be lucky if you get a bowl of jello. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> well, there's some hospitals that all they serve is just canned food, man. That's what they yeah. serve. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's just like like just everything's canned. Old Thomas, lighten up the tobacco. Oh, sorry. I, usually, I try not to smoke on the lives, but it's your lives. So. <laughs> All good. For the employees in our lunchtime, we have a person making hamburgers. It's called the grill bar. Hamburgers, uh, grilled cheese sandwiches, uh, french fries. And then we have another person on a saute. It's called a saute bar. Everything saute. Sa sa sauteed vegetables with chicken, whatever they want, tofu, shrimp. And then we have, have our hot entry food. So whatever our main dish of the day is, it'd be like meatloaf, mashed potatoes, carrots, uh, chicken noodle soup. And then we have a salad section. And then we have a sandwich oh. section. So I'm pretty, pretty, I'm pretty lucky. Drop his phone, did he? Well, there's a cop. Oh. Here, I'm in this little ass small town and they're fucking notorious. 
forgetting yet. So I dropped my phone, turned my lights, my head, uh, the inside lights off. You should turn around, go talk to him. We'll say hi. Mm -mm. <laughs> I just bashed him. We'll see if he pulls out behind me. Oh, that'd be great on my live stream. Dude, I've, it's been close a couple times. Nah, he didn't pull out. If it ever does happen, I'm, I'm straight leaving it on, though. That's what she said. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think we're good. This lemonade thing's pretty damn good, actually. I told you. They're really good when they're cold, cold, but you can drink them warm. I just crushed like half of that thing, man. I just like that. Yeah, that's a new little drink I'll start there. That's a good one. And it doesn't have all the, the sugar and stuff that the regular monster has in it. Yeah. It's, a, it's a rehab one. You can tell it doesn't have as much junk in it. Yeah. I told you it was good. Yeah, man. Good job. I need to lose some weight by August because I got I uh I'm getting inducted into the high school hall of fame for my high school, August twenty sixth. And they're having like a little ceremony, so I gotta like lose some weight before I go. Um, that's next month, bro. I know. Like, <laughs> so I gotta start, motherfucker. Like, I, I am right now with this tea. I feel skinny already. There you go. <laughs> last time, because I don't go back home where I'm originally from. I and mean, last time they seen me, I was a fucking marine. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, and I, was, I did not Columbus? look like this as a Marine. You're not from Columbus? No, I'm from uh, Southern Ohio, a little okay. place called Wellston. It's uh, just got a small city, almost a village. It's uh, just a couple thousand people, like 1,500 people, and just real country. Like, all we did was ride four-wheelers and turkey hunting. And shit. I got some friends that live in Strongsville, right outside Cleveland. Oh, yeah. I know Strongsville played uh, football against them in the state playoffs back in school. One of them, well, they're from Strongsville. One of them actually lives in Florida, and another one actually lives in Charlotte now, Charlotte, North Carolina. The other two still live up in Strongsville. One of them I tagged you in. Remember, he was the uh, the guitar player for that, that metal band, Rob Arnold. Oh. I said if he ever needs a mobile mechanic to hit you up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's one of them. That's right. I worked in a hospital for New in New Jersey for 20 years, biomedical engineering, and then went and worked for OEM for 13, now retired. Nice. It's crazy mm -hmm. how all my, my subs and everything have like all these different backgrounds and stuff. Pretty wild, isn't it? It is pretty wild, man. Do you ever look like in your analytics and look at uh, where everybody's from, like where people's viewed you from? I get a lot from Australia, believe it or not. Yeah. Like, I've had, like it'll say Iraq, and I'm like, what? Yeah. Dude, I used to smoke you motherfuckers. No. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I, uh, not Iraq, I get uh, Australia, Canada, United States, and I think Ireland. Yeah, I do. I, I guess I got. I guess some Australian. I've seen a couple of them. Most of it. Most of the ones I get is United States, Canada, and Australia. Though, that's like the top three. Yeah, and you want U.S. as your top one because you're in U.S. and plus the CPM and RPMs highest there. You know. Uh, yeah. Actually, I had one video. I think it was the video that I put out about the 2023 Mustang. Mm -hmm. The CPM on that one. And what they were putting, what advertisers were paying to put on that, yeah, it was actually coming from um, uh, from Australia or no Thailand. It was coming from Thailand. They were putting really? 100, 150 bucks. Whoa! Yeah, God, that's what advertisers were paying to put their ads on my videos. One hundred and fifty bucks, and it was coming from Thailand. That's crazy, like, man. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Just need that one to take off and you'll be in there. Well, it took off like three or four days straight. It, it was like it was constantly going up and then it kind of flatlined and then it went up again and then flatlined again. Yeah, you know how that goes. The, it'll play with your emotions bad, man. And then I put out that video about the 2022 F-150 Lightning, the electric truck. Yeah. 
and that one took off and then it flatlined and took off and flatlined. So, yeah, I've had some of my uh, best ones now are from when I first put it out. Like I've been on here like 18 months now. Jan like January 1st of 2021 is when I started. And uh, some of the older videos, like they suck, but they're, I mean, they're good repair videos. But, you know, the editing sucked, the video sucked. Yeah. But they go, uh, they go back and see all the old stuff. And some of the older videos actually get you more views, get you more, yeah. views, more CPM. But uh, it's because they can YouTube search them, you know, so they're, uh, what do they call it, evergreen or whatever. Yeah. They're always going to be in because people are always going to be searching a 2015 Kia Soul, whatever. One of my videos has like 250-something thousand views. No shit. Yeah. It's not monetized, though. Oh, is it a short? No, it's that crash video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I deserve to have all them views, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I think that's, probably, that's the first video i ever seen. That was not a very good day. Yeah, I'd say not, brother. Yeah, that's the first one i ever seen. And i seen it from... Uh, uh, from Rich, he he shared something of you, and then I went looking and, and following, you know, yeah. going through the videos. Well, that's how I came across you was through Rich as well. Yeah, I tried to get Ray. Uh, Rayman has shot me out. <laughs> I need, I got to get Rayman on a live stream. And I was like, bro, you need to. I said, hey, King, give us some us peasants some of them views, some of them subscribers. Hey, A Rod gave me a shout out. You know who A Rod is? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I follow yeah. him a little bit. Did Rod, he do anything? Check out, check out A Rod. It's Power Stroke Tech Talk with A Rod. Yeah. And check out uh, Rain Man Ray's repairs. Have, uh, did it get you any subscribers when he did it? A few. Yeah. It wasn't a whole lot. Yeah. It's, it's, it's mostly bit. because we share a lot of the core people anyway, you know? Right. I, I, I get a few from, because I do motorcycle stuff too. Yeah. And I do, I work at a Ford dealership. So yeah. me and Ford boss have a lot of the same type stuff. Yeah. yeah. But then I'll get motorcycle subscribers too. So it's kind I got kind of a mix going on. Yeah, I get some military. Uh, but a lot of military people are into cars anyway. Right. And a lot of people just like the storytelling aspect of it, you know? Yeah, I mean, sometimes we're like we're filming videos and we put them out, and then, you know, some people don't understand what it takes to to actually edit the video. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're doing it on your phone, editing it right quick, and then and then doing it. Yeah. When you're live like we are now, it's like anything can happen. You know? Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. If you watch one of my videos, like one I put out today, like it looks like it goes perfectly smooth. Like I didn't hiccup at all. I didn't do nothing. But you walk the live, and I'm fucking stumbling over all kinds of words. Not, I don't know what I'm talking about, you know? That's why I got bloopers saved up. I'm going to make a blooper video. Yeah, you should watch that video I did today. It starts out with a blooper. It's uh, That's how I did the beginning. I'm uh, I'm out front trying to start my video, and I'm like, welcome to Simplify Mechanic. And my wife comes running out yelling just to fuck up my video. And I'm like, God damn it. And it beeps it out. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I have a tendency where like when I'm holding my phone at work to film something. Yeah. And I'm, trying, I'm trying to look at the screen and trying to show what I'm doing and stuff. I'll trip over something. And oh, yeah. I'll, 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 like you'll see like truck, hood, ceiling. Floor. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got to start all over again. So like I save those. Or if I'm at home and I'm and I'm trying to film something right quick, like I'll run into the door, or like yeah. I'll try, I'll go push my screen door open and I'll run into the door. Like I save those. I'm gonna put them all together because like a lot of people don't understand. Like when you're trying to film something and work at the same time. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, it's fucking hard. See what we, yeah. when we go through an edit. It, it's like oh cool, he did that in 15 minutes. No, it yeah. really took me like four hours. Like. <laughs> I've been editing this video for two days. Now it only took me ten minutes to shoot it, record it. You know, yeah. Maybe an hour. Well, like I said, an hour to record it, but then it take you literally six, eight hours of editing. 
I just can whatever you can. Video, depending on how long the video is, I can edit pretty quick. Yeah. But, but I'm going to start doing the blooper videos where, like, I trip, I fall, my phone goes flying. Like, you yeah. know, I throw a wrench, you learn a new cuss word or two. And it's just like, that's the things that people don't see. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got, there's one, like, out back. I got fucking, I'm trying to start a video and I'm getting attacked. But what? See, like right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, yeah, right, her wife's yelling at me. Uh, damn, I'm gonna ran over on fucking TV. Jesus. <laughs> this, is, this is live. See, this is what happens right here, especially where I live. Uh, for what I was going to say now. Oh, I was getting attacked by a bee. I was out back trying to do a video, and a fucking bee was attacking me. And it's like a 30 second fight. And I swing and I miss every single time. <laughs> you know? But I cut that out, but I do got to say, that'll be a good one. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I know you've been on here with us for a minute, but the last live stream you were on me with, Robbie couldn't make it. Yeah. And Robbie started following you because I had mentioned your name. And he, he watches your videos all the time, man. Like He's like, man, Thomas is a damn trip. I'm like, I know. I texted him the other day. He's a trip. Like, I appreciate that. I think I think so. <laughs> so, you did sub to his channel, right, Robbie? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I appreciate yeah. that, man. Yeah, man. But my wife, actually... my wife loves the videos too. Yeah. Not really. really. Yeah, oh yeah. Robbie was my service manager when I worked at Ford, and I've known Robbie since 2012. 12-ish, right here, yeah. When you hired me. Yeah. I started out changing oil and rotating tires. That's what I started out at. Yeah, all because of that man right there. Mm -hmm. I knew that he was your manager at uh, at, wow. at another shop. I remember you saying that. Come on, baby. Well, it started wow. out. It started out. He was my manager at Ford. Yeah. And he left, and then I left, and then he worked for another company, and I went and worked for him again, and then I left there. And some things happen and he's not with that company anymore. And then he's working for a company that he's with now. And he brought me in over there and then I got fired from there. I'm back at a Ford dealership. So that's crazy. Now you guys starting your own thing. Huh? Oh, oh, it's right. legit. It is legit. Give me just a second. I'll let y'all chat for a second. Oh, that's good. You want to say hi? This is my daughter, Harlow. Hi. They've seen you before in our videos. They're daddy's friends. Say hi. You know what I'm saying? Nothing? If you're on live TV right now, what are you going to say? Oh. <laughs> Get nervous. I'm like, oh, don't say nothing bad. <laughs> She's a good girl, though. Aren't you, baby? No, you're not. Yeah. That's a new daddy got a lemonade. Try it. You can drink this. It's a lemonade. Oh, you're at home. Yeah, I made it inside here. Trying to hey. find my little my little setup, man, so I don't carry this thing around. <laughs> Chris is all quiet over there. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look to get, I'm gonna take off. Cause I, I gotta take a, sh a shower. I got a bunch of paint, and um, it kind of looks bad. <laughs> go, go to what the hospital you? tomorrow with a bunch of paint on my arm. What do you bang, brother? <laughs> yeah, I was uh painting the house. Oh, you can come paint my house. <laughs> oh, all righty. I'll keep you guys on my prayer prayer list, man. I pray for you guys every day. I appreciate, I appreciate it, brother. I'll, I'll keep you guys on my prayer list. I pray the I pray the rosary. I try to pray it every day. I mean, it's it's done miracles for me. Word, I appreciate yeah, it. I need them, so keep sending them up. All righty. <laughs> Blessings, man. Later. See you. God is Take great. Care. You don't know what you're doing, do you? I don't know what's going on here. It's looking weird on my screen. What, you on in this? Huh? Where you going?
Oh, man. Get out of here, bro. Hanging out with my friends. <laughs> I don't got no friends, he said. <laughs> That's true. Not in real life, huh? Hey, Thomas. Yeah. Did you hear it? I don't think you were on here. I got a tool sponsor. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I can share it with you on my screen. Hang on. I'll show you what I got. That's awesome, man. It'll come in handy, bro. Dude, that's awesome, dude. I'm pumped for you, like, for real. You know, anytime a small dude gets something, it, like, motivates me. Even if it's you getting it, it just shows that what we're doing is working, you know? Oh, yeah. Because you know how it is, man. It's hard. We have ups and downs. You'll have fucking 10,000 views last month, and this month will be fucking nothing. You know what I mean? Dude, last month I had almost 30,000. Yeah. Last month was my uh, – that's a lot of views. I mean, I didn't get that many last month. I think right. I had like 24 or 25,000, something like that. I think I had like 29,800-something. Yeah. No, last you, they're sending me two things. I'll show you the first thing that they're sending me. You ready? Yep. Torque sticks. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. What do they just want you to do a review for? It? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, I'm going to do a review for it, but they're also giving me a discount for the uh, discount uh, link for all my subscribers who want to order. There stuff. you go. Yeah. What and company? Well, who's it made by? Capri Tools. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then the next thing that they're sending me is this right here. Uh, click. Come on. There it goes. Check that out, dude. Oh, look at that. That's cool set, dude. I'll buy that one. It comes with the light, the ratchet, the wrenches, the two magnetic cups, and the oil drain. Yeah, that's slick. Does it say what's the price on that? I can't see. Uh, well, if you get the, you pick right here. If you pick metric, yeah, one ninety nine and yeah. SAE is one seventy nine. But with the link, it's not going to cost you that much. Yeah, that'll come in handy for mobile. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, I'll get that down to about one twenty nine, one thirty nine. I'll buy it. Hell with yeah. that code. It comes with the light, the wrenches, the ratchet, and magnetic cups. Yeah. And once I buy it, it always they'll keep track of how many you sell with that hey. link, you know. Hey Anthony, we got to get that uh <clears throat> that AC set up, man. Like we were talking about on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, we got to um, get that. We're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna buy. We're gonna buy a separate one so we can do one, two, three, four YF. Have you guys had any? Uh, I know you're just setting everything up. Have you guys uh, taken any work yet as mobile? Yeah, we got you have. Yeah, did yep. our first mm -hmm. job. Well, then I did that one for the guy that was like trying to help put us out there. He's a yep. good friend of mine. He, I work in a different county, which is like 25 miles away. And he lives on the other side of town, but he works in the same county, which is like two miles from the dealership that I work at. And his heater hose broke out on his heater core and he drives a Ford. So we called around to get a price on it. And it was like a hundred and something dollars for the heater hose. And yeah. then so I was like, dude, I work at a Ford dealership. It was 54 bucks my cost. Yeah. <laughs> Big difference. So I ordered it in. We didn't have it in stock. I ordered it. It came the next morning. I had a couple of gallons of antifreeze sitting there from some warranty work that I did. I got off work, went down there and hooked him right up in the parking lot of where he worked at. Yeah. And then hey. we did a water pump on the Mitsubishi Gallant. I think we should show the uh, business card, dude. You want to? The what? Show that the business card. Yeah. Yeah, let me, can you bring uh, it up on your screen? Yeah. Yeah, you bring it up. I can I can show it right here. What is so loud in this house right now? I can't hear. No. Oh. There you go, Thomas. Hang on. Oh, the fucking washer and dryer so I can get the phone. See what everybody thinks of this uh business cord here. Baby, bring me that little that tea in here, will you? Bring me a tea, the new monster, I guess. Did you take a drink? Would you like it? Should Daddy start drinking these ones? 
It might be better for now. I mean, you can steal them. All right. Yeah, so there's, there's the Let's see it. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, and then the uh, – who do you got? Who you? Uh, who made it? What company? Uh, Vista Print. Yeah, that's what I get. They have pretty good deals. Yeah. Um, and then the um, the back, I just get, I did that like just kind of list our services on there. Yeah. And uh, you know, looks pretty cool. We got the. I think they'll be here like July the fifteenth, somewhere right in there. Hang on real quick. But, uh, yeah, they turned out pretty good, I think. Man, what up, t shirt Yeah, I like that a lot. I like how you added uh, the services on the back. A lot of people don't do that, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's something they can do, so give them something to read, something they can look at. Like, oh, right. you know, maybe I do need this. Because yeah. they're not oh. going to know all that stuff off the top of the head, most people, you know what I mean? Our right. website, they can actually book their appointment online and it'll go directly. I think I went to the website, actually. I think I, I went and looked at it. Uh, you, can, you can choose either him or me or either one of us. Yeah, I seen you had little faces there. Like, I could pick you or you. And then it's, it had a word, the schedule. Like, you could pick, right? You could pick yep. the day yep. and shit like the that. time frame, the day, whatever service you want and all that stuff. And it goes directly to our email and we can, like, look at it right then and there. Confirm yep. it. Uh, we can take payment through that. Like we are actually an LLC. Um, we actually we can do that. We can. What else was it? That, uh, our in North Carolina, you don't have to have a business license if you're mobile. So okay. We have, to, we have that. We have an LLC, which gives us a tax ID number, so we can go to the parts store. And we can have yeah. a commercial account with the parts store. Yeah. So we do that. And we and had to do that. Um, we had to do the. Um, the thing with Fayetteville, all it does is just uh, it yeah, protects us while we're on uh, somebody else's property. Property, yeah. But oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, just file it with the city. Yeah. And they're like, as long as you don't have a bunch of tow trucks and stuff like that, or an actual physical building, you don't need a business license. And we're like, oh, okay, yeah. cool. So yeah, yeah that's pretty neat, right? Yeah. We now, did Thomas, that. Are you a? Are you a? Um, did you do uh, corporation? Are you like? Incorporated LLC or anything like that? Yeah, I'm an LLC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do as much research when I first started out. Like, I started this back in like, it's been like maybe six years now, you know? Mm -hmm. But the first couple, it was just, you know, because I wasn't a mechanic before, you know, I didn't come from a shop or a dealership. So I was doing self taught, like, as I, as I was going. And it was the worst thing you could do. Cause that affects your fucking review. You know, you're fucking up as you go. Yeah. You know? Uh, I so I changed the know. name of my company like three years ago. I pressed reset. Cause I had like a 3.8 fucking review. Like, oh, wow. you know, and like if you get under four, you know, it, you ain't gonna get nobody or it's gonna look bad, you know? Right. Because you can, keep a 4.1 or 4.2 and uh and people will still grab you you know what i mean if they see a four they're fine yeah so i pressed reset and started a whole new thing and then it went pretty good from there yeah but the first company uh <laughs> not good <laughs> bro if you got any questions you know you can text me or call me right yeah oh yeah i'm gonna right now i don't run into too many things just because of the jobs i'm selected but uh I'm sure there will be, you know? Oh, yeah. There's but I'll have to there. reach out. Now, I wish I'd have had this fucking five years ago, you know? Yeah. And there was a lot of trial and error. Like, I was raised by a single, you know, a single mom. My dad died when I was young. So I was only raised by women, you know? So there was none of this. Uh, like, we didn't. I didn't even mow the grass, you know? And, th like, it was just, there was nothing like that, you know? I think you Joe, I went to the, had the same birthday. So I went to the military, and then uh, that's when <laughs> I started becoming a man, I guess. What about what the your, birthday? My birthday is December 8th. Yeah, yeah, same as my dad's, yeah. That's right. So, what was your MOS? I was uh, 5811. I was military police. 
Okay. My first six years, and then my last few, I did EOD. Uh, I used to defuse the bombs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's how I got hurt real bad. So you know electrical, obviously. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah, I do. And uh, I maybe I think that's why I, you think I'd be like. I mean, I guess I am good at it. I just don't like it. I don't but know. I think it's because I've done it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've done it through that, you know. So there's always like this bad feeling. <laughs> I hate electrical. I hate it. You know? Yeah. Electrical with transmissions. I hate them. And honestly, oh, yeah. you don't like transmissions either because you don't. Yeah, no, sit down, man. I'm like, God damn, it's out there on the street somewhere. <laughs> what are you talking about? I was hiding in there behind a curtain. Think about being a mechanic, starting a mechanic business, and you never was a mechanic your whole life. And you're like, oh, I'll start this motherfucker, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but what made you want to be a mechanic? Well, I started uh, working on four wheelers because I own some four wheelers, and it was. Uh, good because when i first got out of the military i was struggling real bad and it was good uh it helped me mentally like gave me something to like keep my mind busy right mm -hmm. so and then i started working so i was doing the four wheelers and i was working on like some friends stuff and i noticed like i was like oh there's a little bit of money that can be made here you know i'm doing like this little mobile stuff for friends and family i was like this could be a business you know uh but I was just completely fucking <laughs> overwhelmed once I started, you know, because it's a lot different, like working on a four wheeler in your rods and fucking working in a foot of snow trying to change whatever, you know? Yeah. Before I started working at Ford with Robbie, I was actually a motorcycle technician. I oh, on, yeah. Worked on motorcycles and four wheelers. And my family yeah. actually owned a diesel repair shop. I worked on 18 wheelers. Oh, no shit. Yeah. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, four o'clock in the morning on the side of the interstate, changing brake chambers. Not cool. <laughs> so you've done it like your whole life, huh? Like you've always been, been around, around it. it. I've been around it my whole life. Yeah. And then in high school, I took like auto tech and stuff like that. I built yeah. a, I built a 65 fastback Mustang. Oh, and no I, shit. I had a 68 Mustang coupe. Um, I built the 65 fastback with my dad. It was just a rolling chassis when we got it. And when we got done with it, it was a 289 board out to a 302. No shit. It had a big old four barrel holly carburetor on it with a four speed transmission. It had a 411 rear end in it. That thing. So them, were, like, huh? them were great memories huh, that you yeah. have with that. And I remember I drove it to school a couple of times. The speedometer went to 120, went back to zero, back to 120, back to zero, and never came back up. Like, <laughs> sold that car like right after i graduated high school and the day that i sold it i told the guy when he came to pick it up like he was looking at it and so like the back windows on a on a mustang like that on a fastback the triangle window was actually the original was for vents for the back brakes but we turned them into windows like you see on the cars now yeah called out a car show and me and my dad were like man we should do that to windows i mean this thing had four wheel disc brakes on it we converted it to disc brakes it had line locks so you can do burnouts and stuff <laughs> and told the guy like this is not a grocery getter this is just take it out on the weekend cruise for a couple miles and put it back in your garage yeah well he wrapped it around a tree a mile from his house the day oh, he from it. literally folded it bumper to bumper jesus christ a car i spent four years building yeah does that break your fucking heart golly he wrecked in less than an hour <laughs> make you, that make you cry I was crying, but at the yeah, same time, I had money in my pocket, and I've been wanting to build another one ever since. So Yeah. But now it's so hard, like, well, doing the mobile mechanic shit is, uh, and then having a family, you know, it's so yeah. hard to try to juggle all of it, you know? Well, I told my oldest son, he'll be 11 in August. The day you're getting inducted is my son's birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the day I got blown up, too. August 26th? Yeah, it's the day I was injured. He'll be 11 years old. And I told him, I was like, do you want, because, you know, he'll be getting a permit soon and then a driver's license. Yeah. And I told him, I was like, do you want a car or do you want to build a car? And yeah. he looked at me, he's like, I want to build one. All right. That's awesome. So I'm either thinking, let's do a Mustang or yeah. a 67 Impala from Supernatural. The show there you go. Do one of those or something. Yeah. Well, 
something so I can get him involved. Because when I'm working on a vehicle outside, like my truck or something, he likes to come out there and, hey, hey can I do this? Can I do this? Yeah. Yeah. So if he's going to have a car to drive and he wants to build one, I want him to help me do it. You know? Yeah. I mean? So yeah. that will take a lot of discipline because after the newness of it wears off, you know, how kids are, they're like, all right, I'm going to do something else. Yeah. So it'll take some discipline to do it as well. But like I'm, my son wanted to do that. Cause I got that little black Honda. You see that little Honda and we, I got a, he wanted to uh, start working. So I got him an old riding lawnmower he spray painted it. That's all we did to it. I was like, what the fuck? We've had this thing for six months. That's all you've done to it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He spray painted and put some duct tape on it. I was like, what is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's like, I never wanted, I didn't know I wanted to be an automotive technician. Yeah. Like, I've been around it my whole life, but I didn't know that's what I wanted to be. I actually wanted to be an x-ray technician. Oh, really? Yeah. Complete, two totally different career fields. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think, like with me, was uh, <clears throat> growing up around my uncle's race cars, you know, uh, watching them build engines and all that good stuff. And yeah, and then I think, um, I think I really got my nick for how things work was in the Navy, uh, yeah, aviation, aviation electronics and learning that and just learning how things work. Yeah. And, you know, like, um, I think I was hooked from there, you know. But and, what, amazes, what amazes me is, that, like, you have a bolt, you know, that's this long that has 130 threads on it, and it's holding yeah. an engine together. You know what I mean? Yeah. How does something small like that hold something together with so much torque and horsepower without mm -hmm. blowing apart? Yeah. It, it's just amazing. Well, it? And it, it takes a special person. Like, your brain has to be wired a certain way to be able to, grasp all this you know yeah like when we did our asvabs going into the military that's how it's broken down like it'll tell you if you're you're more inclined to be a mechanic or inclined to do this based off the test yeah anybody can do it you know yeah anybody can do some of it you know mm -hmm. what i mean uh, i think that's that like you talk about the asvab you know um for the Navy, they were saying, like, you know, you're very mechanically inclined. Yeah. You know, so I yeah. Think it started pingling, you know, well, from there. That's also, that's also like ASE tests. Like, I'm yeah. certified, I'm Ford certified. Yeah. So, to me, even though I'm ASE certified, all that means to me is I know how to pass a test. Anybody yeah. can go take an ASE test and get certified. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean you know what you're doing? No. Yeah. You, know you know what you're doing? Yeah. You go out in the real world and fix it, yeah. and you come across problems because anybody can pass a test. You know, my, yeah. my, dad, my dad was an electrician, and uh, I wanted to start in that, you know, and carry that on. And uh, I was going to go to school for it and all of that. And you know, he he told me one day he said, "Son, you can you can have all the damn books you want." He said, "But until you get out here on a Saturday afternoon and help me wire a house, you don't know shit." You know, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and that's how I learned that, you know, and it's hands on, man. That's what I love about this business. It's just yeah. straight hands on. Like you, Thomas, I mean, you started off, never been a mechanic before. Look at you now, you know, and it's just yeah. on being out there doing it, you know, making yeah. the mistakes and learning from them. And once and you do a big them. job and it comes together, you know, that feeling you oh, get, yeah. you're like, God damn, like, yeah. It's still a rush, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know how to do shit, you know what I mean? Like, right. and I straight learned all YouTube and just fucking it up. Like, you have to get out there and fucking get your hands dirty and figure it out, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I still get that rush, though. Like, when it's a good job, you know, mm -hmm. and it just comes together like it's supposed to, yep. it's still that good feeling of, like, getting it together, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So I like being on that job last week, Anthony, like uh <laughs> we got everything together at the yeah. time and set. We're like, hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Dead yeah. battery. You know? Dead battery. <laughs> and it was like, oh fuck. Well, yeah, that's the worst <laughs> feeling in the world there. <laughs> dude, Robbie yeah. looked at me, eyes this big around, like, dude, is the timing <laughs> off? I'm like, I was like, no, please tell me that is fine. how we're not getting to the starter and not that timing belt. <laughs> Which one was it? I didn't know, I didn't catch it. Was... 
Yeah, it what was problem the, uh, was it? We did a water pump on a Gallant. Yeah. But the water oh, pump, was, yeah. the water pump is not driven by the timing belt, but you got to take the timing belt off to get to the water to pump. To get to it. Yeah, I got you. So yeah. we took all the part, put the new fought with the water pump for a little while because it did not want to go back on. Yeah. Got it back on there. I got the timing marks lined up. Everything's lined up. Got everything tensioned. Pulled yeah. the pin on the tensioner. Yeah. Everything's good. So I'm like, me, I like to turn it to make sure the timing marks line back up. Yeah. Well, I turned it one time, right? And all mm -hmm. the timing marks were off. And I'm like, hang on a minute. Let me turn this again. Yeah. The timing marks are off. Let me turn it again. Marks are off. Turn it the fourth time. Everything lines back up. So apparently, I said, you ain't gonna do two turns. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, on that one, it's a four to one ratio. Every yeah. Turn everything lines back up. So I'm like, all right, cool, Robbie. That's something I would have never got right there. After the first two, I would have never known it would have been four to one. I would have taken four everything one. back off and fucking. You know what I mean? Yep. The shit I got, I wouldn't have known that. So. I was like, I did it on the fourth one. Everything lined up. Okay, it's a four to one timing mark. All right, cool. I look at everything. Everything's lined up. Robbie, double check it. Here's the yeah. mark. Here's the mark. Here's the mark. Here's the mark. All right, cool. Everything's good to go. Everything slaps back together. Put the motor mount back in. Everything's good to go. Robbie goes to turn the key, and it's ring. <laughs> <laughs> he was the customer out there. Tell me that's the battery, yeah. man. Yeah. The customer was out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I hate it. I'm like, we're sitting there like, hey, look, your battery is like completely dead. You need a new battery. Hang on, man. I gotta get my daughter. She's yelling at me. All right. We had a tap who bragged about he passed the ASCs who couldn't perform an oil change, probably up. The the joke around here, ASC around ask here someone is ask someone else. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see my comment, ASC doesn't mean anything to me. Even though nah. I'm certified and it looks good on my resume and for the dealer, it really means nothing to me. Uh, yeah. Multiple yeah, it looks good for our customers. Is. Yeah. This guy was barred from sob school. They wouldn't let him attend classes. Hey, dude, I watched a guy get kicked out of electrical class at Ford when you sent me, Robbie. It was on, like, I think it was test day, like, either. No, it might have been Thursday. Test day was on Friday. <laughs> This dude got so drunk and he was just passed out in the bathroom with his feet hanging out from yeah, the Archie kicked him out. Just so hello. Hi. Are you gonna one of my flowers? I need it. Oh, flowers. Yeah, we can do this three times. We're gonna get those. I am busy. Something important right now. So Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> we tell the customer the battery's dead, right? There's not enough juice. Yeah. So she goes, all right, well, I'll get a new battery. And Robbie kind of like looks at me and he, he comes walking to me because they're going to put a new battery in and you're coming out here with me just in case the timing's off. Like, really? So yeah, cause like, I, gotta, I went later on just by myself just to burp it. And, yeah. And uh, I was like, well, you know, Anthony was like, yeah, can you just run out there and, and uh, burp it? Well, the, the guy texted me and was like, hey, I got a new battery. I said, did it start? He was like, yeah, it started right up. It's running right now. I was like, cool. Let me forward this to Robbie. <laughs> yeah. Like, of course it started. I told you. What? Like, yeah. You doubted me, man. Yeah. It was but like, I'm it was doubted on, on every job. I, I never think they're going to work. <laughs> well, so it does. Uh, when you're messing with timing and then you yeah. put everything back together, like that first key turn, man. Oh, yeah, I hate timing stuff. We had a Chrysler Sebring out here. Uh, I don't fuck that one up. Then. I remember you had to come back. You were stressing about it. Well, I was stressing about it, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, she yelled at me for interrupting you. I told it was done. I'm sorry. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't get yelled at all day. <laughs> Golly. But yeah, I had a hard time with the Chrysler. And it was a buddy too. Mm. It yeah, it's like, <laughs> well, see, sometimes like you see those dollar signs, and you're like, I, 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 I can do this. I'm good. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then you get into it, you're like, I can't do this. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just not worth the money because of the time and frustration. Like I've learned, like uh, them big money jobs don't end up being big money jobs. You end up losing. You know, I could have done. Two starters, three diagnoses, and made four hundred dollars. But no, here I am on day four of fucking. 
Well, third time being on this, right you know, I put it, it together four, three uh, times. Hey, just like that job right there that we're talking about, uh, the damn water pump gasket tore. Yeah. All right. And Anthony's sitting there just RTV in the hell out of this thing. <laughs> and I mean, it's just like everywhere. And he's just like, I'm putting that fucking water pump on. I'm like, dude. We're gonna be back out here, tear this shit down again. It's gonna fucking leak right on out. <laughs> and I'm like, I said, dude, we can't do it. We're out here on a Sunday afternoon, and it's like, dude, we no, you know. I was I, just at the point where I wanted to go home. I'm not gonna lie, dude. TTN, you know. And um, I'm just like, no, dude, no, we're not doing that. And <laughs> I said, the lady will be, she'll understand, you know. So we ended up. Ordering the new gas. <laughs> That's why he's the manager, because we'd have been like, yeah, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it would have been at a shop, you know, under somebody else, I'd been like, fuck it, Anthony, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, see? Hey, when, when it's your own shit, you're like, no, nah, hell no. I'm not coming back here doing this shit for free. Yeah, uh, I got you. I understand. And, uh, <laughs> That's awesome, man. That sounds like me, though, man. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday with the new gasket, put everything back together, and then it was the room. You know, yeah, and then I went back out what Thursday afternoon to burp it and everything, yeah, because I was doing trips. yeah, because yeah. I was fixing Lorenzo's car while you were doing that. How yeah. much did you do? What do you guys charge? Uh, how do you do your hourly rate? Uh, so we charge a, a fee, a $65 diagnostic fee, yeah, that's what I do. The same fee, $65 diagnostic, but we also charge a service call fee. Yeah. Which could be depending on where it's at, could be anywhere from twenty five to forty five dollars. Yeah, so that makes this, sense. One was, this one was a thirty five dollar service call and a, a sixty five dollar diag, so a hundred bucks for that. Now, and do you then, take anything back off? Uh, everybody does it different. Like, do you do you apply any credit to them with the diagnosing fee? No, that's non refundable. That's for us to go out there and look at it. Yeah. Okay. And, and, you know, kind of covers gas. And then yeah. when we figured out what it was, we told her what it was. And we're like, hey, you know, we'll get you a quote. So we left. We went to the store right quick. I pulled up all data on my phone. It was like a 3.2 hour job. Yeah. And Robbie was like, well, let's charge her like 100 bucks an hour. So 320 bucks. And then he was like, add 60 percent to it. So it came out to like 340. Yeah. So I, I texted him. I was like, hey, 340 bucks. You guys have already paid the Diag fee and the service call fee. So you won't be charged that. Yeah, and she was like, "Okay," and we'll get we'll get the part. This is like on a Friday or something. We'll get the yeah. or Saturday. They got the part the next day. It was like, I know it's the Fourth of July weekend is coming up. We'll go ahead and do this for you on a Sunday. She ended up paying us instead of the three forty. She ended up paying us four hundred and twenty. Mm-hmm. And me and Robbie were like, "Dude, she paid us too much. Let's let's go see if she meant to give us this much." Yeah. So we knocked on the door and we're like, "Hey, you gave us four twenty. It's only supposed to be three forty. She was like, "No, that's a tip for you guys." Yeah. Like, a oh, word. That's how it is, yeah. yeah. And you got a different charging as a mobile mechanic because it's up to you what you're charged and like compared to like how you guys was doing it. You know what I mean? We still yeah. saved her five, six hundred bucks that way. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like mine, I guess it comes out to about eighty bucks an hour. You know, I usually just do it by job. But well, it comes got, out it was sixty an hour. And I had too many. That's how I got a lot of bad customers because the prices are so cheap. It attracts fucking scumbags. Yeah. yeah. So, what you know, you by just bumping up my price, I got rid of some of the fucking goofballs, you know? So, with dealerships around here, they, they charge anywhere from 110 to almost 200 bucks an hour. Yeah. So, we charge, depending on what it is, somewhere around the $100 range or maybe a little bit more. And then I have all data and I can look yeah. at it on my phone to see how much it is. You know, it, it takes 3.2 hours to do this. Robbie will do the figuring right quick. Hey, what do you think we charge him this right here? He'll call me or if he's standing right there with me. Yeah, I think that's cool. And then we'll we'll either tell the customer, hey, this is what it's going to be. Or I'll, we'll call or he'll call him or I'll call him. Hey, this is what it's going to be. And they agree to it. OK, yeah, we can come out there on Monday or Tuesday or whatever. You know what I mean? So are you getting uh, how you get are you getting money up front? The labor or the diag and the service service call, yeah, is usually paid up front when we get there. Okay, or they can do it because we're set up now where they can do it online and stuff. They can do it. That's non refundable. That's like because we're driving all the way over there to get to you. We're looking yeah. at your vehicle. I'm not going out there for free. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've already got. I've already been 
Somebody's already tried to pay me when, with Monopoly money one time. Yeah, we are kind of shit. Trust me, I know, brother. Yeah, I'm not going out there for free, and neither is Robbie. So yeah, but we don't do anything without the other person. Like, hey, what do you think of this? Or yeah, hey, do you think we should do this? So, and then are you yeah. guys I'm not trying to get all in your business? But uh, are you guys set up fifty fifty right now? Yeah, mm-hmm. with everything like the split, uh, splitting the fucking. The profit, yeah, yeah he, does, he does just as much work as I do, yeah. And yeah, I, I told him, like, business. the first year, you know, we'll just do like the straight 50 50. We're not, you know, that first year, we're not really worried about like cash flow yet, you know, yeah, we just got to get built up and then, um, yeah. and figure then, just figuring everything out that first year, yeah, yeah. And then, um, after that first year, we know we got we got our shit together, yeah. We'll start, you know, uh, uh, you know, keeping some cash flow in the business and yeah, that, you know, but um, because I've actually I'm setting it up now to where, um, you know, I'm gonna be paying us just like employees. I mean, uh, yeah, we got W two taxes out everything. That's what that's how you should do. It's the safest yeah. way. Is uh. Yeah. To pay yourself out of that and not act like it's all yours. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Yeah. So I've, like, learned, I've learned that even as like being the only person, I can't, all that money can't be just paid directly to me and just keep it. Right. It doesn't work that way, taxes wise, oh, yeah. <laughs> as well. You know? But we learned from a guy that we used to work for. He's, he's a really cool guy. His son actually owns a business now. I can't stand that guy, but he was like, pay yourself, <laughs> pay yourself first. Yeah pay yourself first. But Robbie and I, like when we were doing that water pump, I was on the ground underneath the car doing this and this and this, and I'm getting frustrated or I'm getting irritated. Robbie's like, Hey, half time, change sides. You come up top, yeah. I'll go down there. Mm-hmm. So he's down there and he's doing his thing. And, I'm and, like, not, oh. and not every job can you do exactly 50, 50. Like, sometimes yeah. there's just not enough room, you know, right. like, but that, that probably still doesn't imagine your pay. You're both, you know, yeah. Both partners, you might do 70% of the work and he does 30 just because how it's set up. Yeah, yeah, but you guys would still split 50 50, you know, right? You're right. And then anything a little bit of extra that we get will go back into the company. Um, I was meaning to talk to you probably tomorrow, Robbie, but if it's like if it's a job where we need somebody, well, we need to go out and diag it, like you know, people and I know people, like hey, send them out there to do that and just pay them the diag fee. You know, if, if it's a $45 service call fee or something like that, give them the 45 bucks to go out there and we keep the diag fee. You know what I mean? Yeah. And mm-hmm. if they if if they end up saying it's it's a $600 job, you know what I mean? All right. Go ahead and do the $600 job. And then like whoever diag it, say we send Joe Schmo over there, give him a percentage of that or you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because like I can't get to it. You can't get to it. But we don't want to lose the customer. Right? Yeah. So I'm not just going to send anybody over there, but right. I do the same thing. I got a guy that I send to do uh, uh, certain jobs I don't do. It's almost like an Uber. I got three people. They already work at dealerships. Now, remember, I live in a big city, a million people, right? Mm-hmm. So it depends on what side of the city they're on. And if I can't get to an, I'll call them and I'll the, I price the job. It falls under my simplified mechanic. And uh, we split it 70 30, you know, yeah. them 70, me 30%. Mm-hmm. I just call them with the with the job. I'm like, hey, it's, I don't know, upper ball yeah. joint, control arm. It's a 240 job. Do you want it? If he says mm-hmm. no, it's okay. If he does, then all right, he'll get 150 and I'll get 70 of that. Yeah, because if not, it. I would lose that job anyway because right. I'm already too busy. Yeah. Make like some money. Money. At least we make money now. Instead yeah. of losing that, they're going right around here in like factory standard, you know, like on a sublet job is like 25 to 30 percent. Yeah, so like we've already, you know, we've already got several guys. I've got a, a guy next door. Um, he was a 35 year BMW and Mercedes, so you know, yeah. and he's got like his own little shop out here. Give me one sec, guys, while you're talking. All right, and so, like, um, you know, if it's something we can't really do in somebody's driveway, we can call him up and say, Hey, I've you know, uh, yeah. You know, valve covers on a three twenty eight I. You know, yeah. and uh, hey, you want to do it? Hell yeah! All right, 
what are you going to charge? I'll do it for 200 bucks, you know, so we'll tell you at 200, do a 25 to 30% yeah. uh, that we keep, pay him the 200, you know, yeah. and we even tell him, hey, you know, uh, we'll have the parts, everything, and we'll pick up the customer's car, take it to your shop, let you do the work, we'll pay you, and then we, we still get profit out of the job. Yeah. Um, out of the sublet labor and plus um, we're getting set up with the parts houses. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll make a little bit on the, on the parts too, you know, yeah. and we've got several guys that we're going to be doing that with um, one guy's Mike next door. We got another guy, Eric, that works for me now. Um, he's actually even updated some of his uh, equipment and stuff because he knows what we're doing. And uh, you know, he's got a little garage at his house and uh uh talk about eric anthony yeah and uh you know so we've got like some sublet guys you know that will like and it's you know, cool you know, that your uh, guys are know what they're doing you know what i mean right that i don't i'm not in the community like that like you know what i mean like dealership yeah. guys so the guys i found i eventually they was good but i tried with other people before and first it was uh uh family friends people like that and that was obviously the stupidest thing you could do mm -hmm. it, it can never work when it's family or friends like that right. you know right uh just because right. it's just a matter of time till it goes wrong you know mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, i finally got to somewhere where i got people that actually work uh they work at a place called kenworth uh it's a trucking company they work mm -hmm. on big trucks you know yeah. but he can work on anything and the other guy's an airplane mechanic uh but he's good enough he's good he works on cars so yeah so I but got at it. first it didn't it didn't work out good like i had i ended up losing like 500 bucks on a job because the person i sent out fucked it all up you know <clears throat> like took the guy's money i had to reimburse him yeah he still left a negative review on my shit even though like he knew what the deal was like it was somebody else because i told him i said hey this guy's not affiliated with me I tried to pass it off as that. I'm, I'm too busy, but I know a guy. You know what right. I mean? Because right. in case anything went south, you know, south, mm -hmm. I didn't want it to come back to me. Uh, yeah. And it did. And he still fucking nailed me with it. Right. Even though I paid him, he still hit me with a, uh, a one-star review. And the motherfuckers hurt. Because you can have 25 stars. Somebody threw the one-star, and now you're at 4.4 or whatever, you know? What does it take like about... I think it's 10 to 12 reviews to even get that back up. You know? Yeah. Like, uh, if I looked at my stuff, it was a 4.3 or 4.2. It was like six months ago. Uh, and it would be like 15 five stars and then one one star. You know what I mean? Like, there was 100 reviews, and out of the 100, 90 of them was four or five star, and there still was like a 4.2, you know? Yeah. I was like, God damn. The way that works. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that math just wasn't making sense to me, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, I could, it should be like a four point seven, you know. Just like CSI, you know this too, Anthony. Like CSI and the dealerships. Yeah, customer you know, service. Like, how the hell did I get a hundred? You know, like CSI customer service index, which is like Google review in the you know in yeah. the uh, factory world. You know, like like now, man. Last month we got like fifty um, surveys back. And you know, forty nine of them were beautiful. We got that yeah. one bad one. How are we sitting at a three point eight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Robbie sure. lost the commission check because of that. Yeah, exactly. No shit. A salesman yeah. that did it. Whoa. Yeah, we, we we about threw hands on that. <laughs> that was like the best I've ever seen. Like you cannot fit a piece of paper in between these guys. He came out of his office and turned the corner and saw that salesman. He beeline right for him. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. Oh, my God, dude. What a motherfucker, you know? I'm like, hey, you How are you going to work here and leave a bad review? Mouth this month, you know? Like, that's just dirty. Yeah. yeah. How are you going to work at the dealership where you took your car to get serviced and then leave a bad review where you work? Right. Like That's fucking crazy. That was, that was messed up, man. God. And then it affects you. Like, yeah, he lost a commission check because of it. Sure did. Like, that's crazy. Money. Like, how could you? Isn't there somebody above that, like, realizing how fucked up that is? Oh, yeah. Like, the isn't there somebody manager. looking saying, oh, obviously this dude's a fucking retard. We shouldn't yeah. fucking take your commission check for it. It doesn't matter. He, 
they look at the general manager. Games. He was just like, yeah, you know, nothing I can do. It's just good. the numbers or whatever. Yeah. But you know, he was like, it's in there. You can't take it back. They ain't shit we do. I was like, you can fire his ass. That's one thing you could do, you know, because yeah. it affects his pay too. So, but see, yeah, it, I put. Oh, God. It affected the technicians. It affected the service advisors and the service manager. So when the technician messed up, yeah, we were held reliable. As long as I can't, if I messed something up and I came to Robbie and was like, hey, dude, I messed this up. What can I do? He's like, hey, well, say a TPMS sensor, for example. Yeah. Hey, Robbie, I broke this TPMS sensor. All right, go to parts and get another one. I'll shop supply it. But yeah. if I didn't say anything to him and I went and tried to hide it and then that customer left the bad review, then I'm in trouble. Yeah, you know I mean? but if I told him ahead of time and he can do something about it before that car leaves, yeah, the customer still leave a good review. Yeah, so it's kind of a. But if we messed up and say we did everything right, you can't please everybody. You probably already know this. Oh, <laughs> you can't please everybody. No matter how good you are, somebody's going to leave a bad review. The the technician didn't get held responsible for that. It was always the service advisor or the service manager. Yeah. So, it's kind of a crappy situation, you know. That's I mean? shitty, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, that's real shitty. That sounds that sounds fucking backwards as fuck to me. That dealership world might have some political shit right there. Yeah, it's a numbers, numbers, numbers. Get this. I mean, out. I mean from the from the what you guys, the ones I know, it don't. It sounds like there's some some fucked up shit going on with it. Oh yeah. It sounds like the military is what it reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> you know? there's, some, there's some good times though. Yeah, oh, I guarantee it, bro. I guarantee it. Like Robbie come out with a stack of work orders this tall and their PDIs, brand new vehicles. Danny and Anthony pass them out. Hey guys, you want some PDIs? No, I want yeah. to go home. All right, cool. One o'clock in the morning. Here's me and Danny fucking doing PDIs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. End of the month. They got to get done. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys, man, but. I'd have y'all turn on like 30, 40 hours in one day yeah. <laughs> off of PDIs. <laughs> yeah. The most I ever did in a one week pay period because of that man right there was 280 hours in what? one week. One week. What? That was low jack, PDIs, customer pay, everything. Just yeah. golly. Balls to the wall. And Danny had just like two more hours more night. And well, Danny and I were kind of trying to race like who could do more low jacks. Like, yeah, keep up. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> That's awesome. But everybody else was sitting at 20, 30, 40 hours, and they'd get mad at me and Danny, or they'd get mad at Robbie, like, well, you're just feeding him. Like, I told them to give you stuff, and you guys said you wanted to go home, you and now you're going to your paycheck. You said no, yeah. you went home. Well, you're being and fucking you're lazy. Doing no one, right. you know, and then they're going to bitch when you did all the work, not the money. That's right. So when it comes 11 o'clock in the morning and Robbie's like, Danny, Robbie, y'all can go home. Y'all been here since one o'clock in the morning. Well, how come they get to go home? Because they stayed here and did all these PDIs that are sitting over there on the, on the new car lot. Yeah, That's people like, like that, they're going to bitch because you get, you know, it's too much work and they're going to bitch when they didn't do it, you know, because right. they missed the money. And it's never their fault, you know. Never. That's crazy. See, it's a world I don't know. I just don't know nothing about it. It's like fucking... I can picture it, you know what I mean, but All right, no, not about it. That was a good paycheck, but it also got ate up by taxes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, that'll get you. Now, do you guys work now? Do you work together now? No, uh, I'm. A, I work at Ford in another county. Okay, now yeah. it's the place you got fired from. Is that where you guys work together? Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, and I'm still well, we, there. For we the work time, together, yeah. mobile. Yeah. But no, he's he's working at the shop that I got fired from. Yeah. Okay. And how long was you at that shop? Two weeks. Huh? <laughs> he said, huh? <laughs> Two weeks. Maybe you didn't hear me right. <laughs> how long was you there? How long was you working there? <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be a record. Yeah. I was like, man, I didn't say your notice. I said, how long did you work? <laughs> Dude, I wanted to quit on my first day, but I stayed yeah. for Robbie. So you you went over there. Uh, 
Did you work there before? No. Did it, it just started off bad as soon as you got there? Was there? Yeah, we've got a uh, Thomas. You would have left ten minutes after you started. Oh yeah. Oh, I believe you. You're a patient man, brother. You know. Uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have made it. You know me, man. I wouldn't have made it. Fucking. Yeah, we got this, uh, one of the owners, uh, the wife. Yeah. Um, yeah. She. Uh, yeah, she she made up some stories on him, and of course the son did the firing. And yeah, from another store. Yeah, from another store who was not there, um, and of course he took his mom's side. You know. Yeah. And. Um, said, you think that was it? Uh, you you just put up with her shit, or like no? What what, what, what what made her zero in on you? Okay, so there's another guy that was working there. Yeah. Um, Brian, he yeah. had an automotive degree. His name's mm -hmm. Brian. Yeah. He actually went to school for Ford stuff. He did like the, the community college. He has all Ford certifications. So technically he's master certified through Ford. Yeah. They wouldn't let him do oil changes, yeah. anything without me or Robbie being there. Stuff That's like right. that. I remember you saying that now. Yeah. Just treat him like crap. Well, I yeah. was working on a Ford Focus that had a transmission problem. I was working on a, um, what was that one I was working on that needed the fuel pressure sensor? Um, it was a marquee or, or a Crown Vic, one or the other. The I was working Crown on that, Vic, yeah. A Crown Vic. I got done test driving that, pulled it into the parking lot. Yeah. Well, Brian had looked at another car that somebody bought used that they wanted to bring over to make sure that it was okay. Apparently, all it needed was windshield wipers. So while I'm on this test drive and I come back, and I'm walking toward my toolbox and Brian's like, hey, man, here's the windshield wipers. They're sticking out of the, the work order on my toolbox. I was like, well, you, you like, can you not put windshield wipers on? And Brian's like, dude, man, he was like, no, I can do them, but she won't let me. I was like, what do you mean she won't let you do windshield wipers? He was like, she won't let me. I was like, well, I got this car over here that I'm trying to diagnose with a transmission problem. It was sitting outside because it wouldn't move. She comes walking out the door, like through the office. She was like, you need to go put these effing windshield wipers on. I was like, excuse me? Like, you got a guy perfectly capable of putting a windshield wiper on a car. Yeah. Like, he can't do them. I was like, sure he can. And I went to go hand them to him, and she jerked them out of my hand. I was like, he's perfectly capable of doing these windshield wipers. She was yeah. like, no, he can't. Come here, and I'll talk to you. I was like, no, anything you've got to say, you can say to me in front of him. <laughs> and she was like, he breaks them every time. I was like, there's no possible way that somebody breaks windshield wipers every time they put them on a car. <laughs> I was like, here, Brian, go put the windshield wipers on. And she took them from me again. She was like, are you going to do these windshield wipers? I was like, no, I'm going to go work on this focus with a transmission issue. And I started walking and they had like the little chains through the door so people can't come in. Yeah. I, stepped over the chain. I was like, this is bullshit. And I went outside and I was with the scan tool trying to reprogram a, a transmission control module. She told her son that I called her a fucking bitch. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> she said you should have. Yeah. But but those, words never bitch. those words <laughs> never with these goddamn out. wipers. <laughs> Over some windshield wipers. Yeah, well, you would have it sounds like you would have fucking uh you wouldn't have made it there anyway. You would have yeah. lost your fucking cool, you know. You can only be disrespected so much. Yeah. You know. So I come in the next morning. Everything, everything was fine and dandy later on that afternoon. Well, I come in the next morning and her son's sitting at the computer next to Robbie. Yeah. Outside, and I'm like, I, I go to like try to clock in, and he was like, I need to talk to you. I was like, Well, can I clock in? He was like, No, I need to talk to you. I was like, Okay. He goes, You want to tell me what happened with me and my mom yesterday? I was like, Are you talking about the part where she was arguing with me over some windshield wipers? And I said, This is bullshit. And I walked outside because there's a guy perfectly capable of doing it. He was like, Is there anything else? I was like, No, that's basically it. He yeah. Was like, well, she said that you called her a fucking bitch. And I was like, Do what? <laughs> Do what? Like, listen, if I called her a fucking bitch, I wouldn't even have came back in here. Right. right. Like, you know, if Dude, I went that far. The dude's if eyes I went were that far with it, I'm just going to keep going, you know? And he, he was like, I told him what had happened. He was like, all right, well, I'm going to call her. Hang out for a minute. So about 15 minutes goes by, and he comes back out, and he goes, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to take her side of the story. I'm gonna have to let you go. All right. And I looked him dead in the eye. I was like, now that that's done. And Robbie goes, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> Robbie thought I was gonna lay into him, but I didn't. That's good, man. Fuck that. You would have let it just been more trouble somewhere, you know? Yeah, and then uh, Anthony shows me, he sends me a snapshot of his, uh, his uh, unemployment deal. And they literally said that it was due to a physical altercation. So that was oh, literally they, the oh my, Did they deny it? The no, they, approved it. they approved it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so she was literally saying that he laid hands on her. I mean, it, she she's gone, man. She they is, found me not at fault and said that I'm not disqualified from unemployment benefits. Yeah. Jesus. I was hoping y'all would have to do a phone interview. I'd, I'd love to listen in on that. Yeah. <laughs> so she's a bitch, then. You've had problems with her before. How do you work there, man? How do you keep – you just stay out of her way or what? I just – uh every day I'm like, you know – as soon as this mobile mechanic takes off, I'm out. You know, no, that's yeah. I'm just, like, I, I mean, I talk shit to her too. I mean, she'll come out there and I'll be working on a car. And every five seconds, you know, how's this car coming? What are you doing to this car? And I'll just tell her, look, go your ass back in your office and leave me alone. You know? <laughs> and uh, I'm just like, I'm just like, you know what? Hey, this is just paying the bills for now. And then, uh, you seem like a pretty uh, relaxed guy, though, too. You know, uh, I can get riled up, but I mean, yeah, I, I believe me. I mean, I believe you fucking do what you need to do. I'm just saying your personality seems like more, yeah. uh, more tolerable, you know, than some people, which is uh, is a good thing. You know, it's a lot harder to keep your mouth shut and like do the right thing than. To fucking flip on, it's easy to fucking flip out on somebody. It's oh, hard yeah. to fucking be uh, kosher the whole time, you know. Right. right. I watched him break up a fight between two ticks. Yeah. Oh yeah. He was standing in front of me, and next thing you know, he's in between them. I was like, "Where did that come from?" Like, wrapping it up. Uh. <laughs> the guy's name was Rashad. He was really cool. Rashad yeah. was a cool dude. He's a and firefighter Sergeant now. Slaughter. And Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> his, his last name is Slaughter. He was a sergeant in the army, and his last name was Slaughter. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> did he look like him? <laughs> no, he had Napoleon syndrome, bro. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's that, uh, a bad one. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget the one day he he told me he said or he told a um, he told another technician he said, "Man, look," he said, "I can come in here and shoot this place up, and I'll just blame it on PTSD. I can do it." <laughs> You know, we were like, damn, dude, you got to go, man. Fucking, you're still going to go to prison, even right. if you do that. I don't think PTSD is like a fucking fail safe. Yeah. But I did. Yeah, I had right. to break him and uh, Rashad up that one day. I had to, I pushed Sergeant Slaughter like, or was it Rashad? I pushed him like 20 foot. <laughs> Give or take. That's it was funny. Was fucking cool. drama, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, we were having a tech meeting and all of a sudden they started arguing or they're saying something and Robbie kind of looked at them like, are y'all done? Uh -huh. And Robbie started his conversation again. And then all of a sudden Robbie disappeared and he's standing in between these two. He pushed them like this. And I was like, <laughs> you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I, I think that's what I was saying. I was like, you know, almost like a referee. I was like, you get in your fucking corner. <laughs> In your fucking corner. You, you fucking corner, both of you. He sent <laughs> both of them home because they both touched each other. Yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was an altercation, so yeah. both of them had to go home. Uh, Rashad, man, he was getting planted, dude. He was kind of, you know, <laughs> he was getting ready. Right, let him grab on. Oh, yeah. So, are you guys? You guys want to open up a, a, an actual brick and mortar shop, right? Yeah, cost too much. Yeah, it, in Fayetteville, it is. I mean, is that what your guys' goal is? Is that what you want to get to? Eventually, sort of, yeah. Because yeah, I, I mean, to, you got to figure yeah, out if the money makes sense. You yeah. know what I mean? But I mean, like around here, man, like a a, a, a six bay shop. Mm -hmm. You know, before you put equipment in it, before you put lifts in it, you're paying eight nine thousand dollars rent a month. 
you know? Yeah, there's one right here. I went and looked at. It's a two bay, and it's five thousand right okay. here, and yeah. it's fucking shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, if I mean, we open up a shop, you're gonna come work for us? Absolutely. Fuck yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do whatever. I'll be your repo man. I'll be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> but, I was thinking about getting uh, being like repoing, you know. Right. I was like, like um, invest into a tow truck and start because there's a lot of times they're broke down and need places to go. Yeah, but it's it like man, it like we were getting kind of discouraged, you know. And it was like I was telling Nancy, I was like, man, we're not gonna be able to do this, dude. You know. But and then uh, I watched your video that day about starting your own mobile mechanic business. Yeah, and uh, it was funny because I I was sitting at work and I was watching your video and it was just like. You know, and I call Anthony and I'm like, dude, I just finished watching uh, Thomas's video on, uh, you know, starting your own mobile mechanic business. Some fucking and, motivation, uh, huh? <laughs> yeah. And he was just like, yeah, oh, yeah, you were thinking the same thing I was, you know? And so. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah. And uh, so we were just like, hey. Well, that makes know, me feel good, too. You yeah. know, at least I'm glad it, it reached I, somebody. You were talking about how disappointing it was, you know, the, the views and everything on that video, but man, it kind of got us to where we're at right now, you know? Yeah. Because I felt, you know, when you do something like a good video, I get, I just felt like when I watched it, I was like, it's simple enough, but the the steps are there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, it's not going to be exactly, but like if, if somebody has the expertise like you guys do and the tools, Here's step one through eight, and you're going to be successful right. because you already got the hard part, how to do the job. Yeah. Mine was backwards. You know what I mean? I didn't know yeah. how to do the job, and yeah. I had to figure all this other shit out. You guys know how to do it. Yeah. You know, I go off that it. fucking checklist, bro, and then yeah. it's a matter of time until you guys get rolling. I said, I just watched Thomas's video, man, and like, why don't we start out as mobile, and who, who knows? It may be just what we want to do, you know. Well, it and might be a better job. money maker because yeah. no it, overhead. Yeah, yeah, there's no yeah. really in any overhead, and, and you'll still be able to control your schedule better because yeah. it'd be a lot harder to shut down a bay or shut down a business if you have something coming on and it looks right. bad. As right. a mobile, you can flip, change it, do whatever, and nobody knows the difference. You see That's what right. I mean? That's right. And I told him, I said, you know. The mobile mechanic business may get us the money to start a shop. Yeah, or absolutely. You know, we may be just like, hey, this is what we want to do. I mean, yeah, especially after a year or two and you guys get that fucking rotation down and know right. exactly what's going on. Because right. it's a big night, big bill you're going to have to pay for that business. I mean, you're going to have to make $10,000 a month to break even yeah. or whatever it is, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Think about that. That's a lot of fucking money you're gonna have to pull in to break even. A lot of people go into it like, I want to make millions of dollars. I want to have a nice million dollar house. Blah 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 blah. I don't. Yeah, I want to be comfortable. I want to yep. just be comfortable. I want to be comfortable. Man, That's this, it. This house I'm living in, um, we sold our house because my father died in 2018, and we just lost my mother last year to uh, Alzheimer's. Oh, and, sorry to hear that. Yeah, and um, you know. So of course I inherited my parents' house. I'm 51 years old, and yeah. we moved in this house when I was seven months old. And yeah. so, you know, uh, of course the house was inherited to me and everything. And you know, my dad had the house paid off. You know, and me and my wife talked about it after my mother passed. And uh, I was just like, I don't want this house just sitting over here, right? Yeah. Here, you know. So we sold our house. And uh, we sold our house and we moved into my mom and dad's house. It's paid for. And like, if me and Anthony made a million dollars last year, thank you, Lisa. Yeah. Um, you know, we made a million dollars next year. I'm, I'm still going to be here. I mean, I don't give yeah. a crap about it. Oh, awesome. Time. That's done. Just, you know, and uh, like Anthony said, I just want to be comfortable. You know? Where'd he go? He's gone. I see his arm or ceiling. That's true trouble. Yeah, if you pay bills and have a little extra, that's all night. That's that's exactly it. I don't Dude, give a shit about being rich. I really don't. We just want to fix cars and have happy customers. Yeah. 
That's yeah. it. And have and, money. You know, my biggest thing is just being able to, uh, you know, my dad, my dad had the best saying he used to say, he said, you know, you work for your kids, you know, yeah. like my mom and dad are gone. So, I mean, this house and everything else, you know, that they work for all their life. It was to give to their kid, you know? And, um, so now, you know, like myself, I just want to be able to do what I got to do and leave a little bit for my kids, you know? Well, we've Simple talked about that. it. We talked about it before, man. You combined, we got almost 50 years of experience. Yeah. I've been a technician for so long and it's like, what do I got to show for it? Yeah, me too. I've been making I, I do it every day. I'm like, every day I'm like, uh, thanks, Troll. Um, every day I'm over there at Bruno's and I'm just like, man, 30 years in this shit and this is where I'm at. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, what do I got to show for it? Like, right. I got to pick and choose when I go to the grocery store or, you know, my son wants something for his birthday and, you know, I got to save up for it or something like that. Right. It shouldn't be that way because the skills that I have and the skills that you have, it's like, why am I wait, making somebody else's pockets deeper? Exactly. Why can't we take that money that we just made that person and put it into our business? Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. all it is. That's, That's all I want. Exactly it. That's exactly it. I don't care about living in a million dollar house because you know what the taxes are in a million dollar house? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but uh, like I said, like I was just saying a while ago, we could make a million dollars next year. And guess what? My, my vehicle is going to be paid off. My house is paid off. And I'm going to live like I'm living now, you know? And like I said, I'd rather, you know, um, one day for my kids and my granddaughter, you know, I've got a three-year-old granddaughter. She'll be four in, in November. And I'd just rather one day for them to say, hey, you know, grandpa did this for me. You know, that's all I care about. You know, flying shit about living in a million dollar house. I don't care. I don't want to. I, I don't want that like Sherry does. No, nah, no. Nah. Do, I don't want to be in the house, the place that I'm in now. You know what I mean? Because I rent. It, right. It's. I don't like where I am now. I want to be somewhere where me and my family is happy. Uh -huh. But at the same time, when all this is said and done and we're making good money and stuff like that, I can hand it down to my son if he wants that's to. Right. If he chooses to do so. Or I can hand it to my youngest son if he chooses to do so. If he doesn't want to do it, then he doesn't want to do it. They're yeah. free to choose to do whatever they want to do. That's but it's right. there for them if they want it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, one day just let uh let Jordan and um and your two boys just fight over the business. We'll be happy and gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think it would be that way, you know. No, nah, I mean? no. Nah. But um, but you know, like with me, um memories mean more to me than money, you know. Yeah. Like living in this house right here, man. I mean, you can see back there that back there. Yeah. Uh, that little picture of me and my mom back in the 70s, you know. Um, you know, the memories like in this house is worth more to me than any kind of money could ever do, you know. And um, you know, when I'm walking around here at 51 years old and I can remember in this room that I'm in right now that used to be the den back in the day, you know, or the living room, you know, I can remember sitting in this room when I was, you know, five years old watching Batman and Robin, you know, and, yeah. uh, and you know, that, that kind of stuff means more to me than money. You know what I mean? I want to be able to go like take my son to a karate lesson without having to ask for time off. Yeah. yeah exactly. I can just call you like, Hey Robbie, I'm taking my son to karate lesson. You got the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know what the answer will be? Well, I know the answer will be, yeah. Uh -huh. But but as a manager, you were always good to me at Ford that way. I'd be like, hey, Robbie, I got this going on. I need to leave for the rest of the day. Yeah, right? yeah you got, you, you're done doing everything you got to do, right? Yeah, I'm done. Cool. See you tomorrow. Yeah. And it's it's always been that way with me and you. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you said it the other day. We went into the dealership when it was dark, and we left when it was dark. Yeah. And for what? Yeah. For what? <laughs> to end up at, uh, you know, uh, Bruno's Automotive. And, 
you end up at Bruno's. I'm back at a Ford dealership. Don't get me wrong, Ford treats me well, but it's like going back to what do you have to show for it? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And what? I would just, you know, um, you know, me and you work good together and we both respect each other. And, and uh, you know, just like when we were on that job the other day, I mean, we had fun. We were tired. We were hot, but we had fun. We didn't mind doing it. Right. You know, and um, and I mean, that's what it's all about, man. Like, you know, and I mean, hell, we made as much on that one job as we did working a week for these other people. You know, yeah. And like, like I said, that that was fine with me. You know, like I said, it, it, you know, uh, I don't care to make sixty thousand dollars a month. I mean, uh, if the business does deals and be able to be able to take my family somewhere, you know, like my wife, she has family. You know, I don't have much family left, you know, that everybody's passing on. But, um, you know, uh, my wife, she still has brothers and sisters. I mean, she's got a brother in uh, Colorado, sisters in Arizona and Nebraska, um, you know, uh, things like that, you know. And just to be able to say, you know what, hey, um, like her, her sister in Nebraska, they're really close they haven't seen each other in like 15 years, you know, and just be able to just say, I'm listening hey, to you. I got we're going to split out, you know, I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening. Um, but just be able to say, you know what, we're going to take a uh, week and we're going to run in Nebraska in the camper and, uh, stay to hell with it. You know, like I said, that, that's, that's my goal. It ain't, like I said, it's not, you know, making $60,000 a month. It's just being able to kind of, um, do what you want to do a little bit, you know? Yeah, I completely agree. But we've been on here for three and a half hours. It's Holy it's crap. Up there. Huh? Wow. <laughs> I just looked at that. <laughs> it's time to get off here. Like, I don't care. Like you said, the company makes $60,000 a month. That's fine if the company makes $60,000 a month. Yeah. That means we're doing it right. Doesn't mean I'm making sixty thousand dollars a month. No, and uh, like I said, just uh, being able to live comfortable, doing what you want to do, leave a little bit for the kids and the grandkids, and you know, that's all that matters. And and pass it on, and maybe when they get older, and they're our age, they can pass it on. That's right. And, and, and Something that we started. started. Yeah. Yeah. You figure, eighty years from now, hundred years from now, mm -hmm. it's still going. Yeah. Yeah. Something that we started because we got fed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is getting late. Lisa said it. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah hey, Jonathan. Three hours and 32 minutes. Holy crap. Jonathan's late to the show. Three and a half hours late to the show. Heck yeah. But, uh, appreciate everybody coming in tonight. Yeah, we appreciate everybody stopping in here tonight. Yeah. And uh, I'll post a link to some t-shirts in the description where you guys can order them offline. We do have that YouTube channel that Robbie created today. Um, still kind of under works right now. We're going to put some pictures and we're going to do a video for that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, things are moving right along. Yep. But as for right now, it is one fifteen in the morning where I'm at, and Robbie. <laughs> yeah. So it is time to get off here. I need all the beauty sleep I can get. We appreciate you guys stopping in. We'll see you guys on the next one, okay? See you guys.